you. Looking at the Discord, it's so funny as well, seeing all, it's just like a beam of green lights oh, going up. We're getting a, we're getting a transmission oh. from outer space here. <laughs> Somebody really dropped their crystal ball. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I, it's I forgot ruined. to add the moon in the pole, my bad. Of the moon. No, his his crystal ball got trashed. He's in the middle of, yeah. of like the ruined sea for some reason. He dropped no one, it in the ocean. Tried, no uh, told he's me. trying to fix it. And then it teleported no him worries. across the world, apparently. Yeah. I have to polish it. But... Just average Corvarian. Uh, polish it a little bit more, please. Someone told me yesterday that like, the lore, they're, they're, yeah, uh, that's the better. elves come from space no, colonies. Now we go to polish that. They have no, space that's, colonies. That's they're that's not from space. space colonies. That's like going back to the beginning of the dang world. <laughs> Only it's, the it's pirates weird. are in space. <laughs> it's it's hilarious that the Stellaris mod for this setting is the prequel mod. Like who of all of of all the games, Stellaris. We need we need a Stellaris to amp our save converter. Then is what we need. Is the uh, precursor empire. What we need is the Ambinar team to make their own game. That would be fantastic. Yeah, oh, that would be great. Probably not. We can dream. How is Stellaris multiplayer? I never tried it before, considering how complicated it seems, especially with mods. Um, Stellaris is have... the easiest paradox Let... game yeah. by far. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's far. easy, but I was Stellaris. Impressed. I never played multiplayer. I figured I might like, be quickly <laughs> turning into these two arguments. Well, if, if you're if, not if... tryharding, it's really chill. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Tryhard, it's, that is the game where it actually makes the most difference, in my yeah. opinion. As yeah, someone who is, yeah. as someone who is a meta for the game. Stellaris. It's As someone who is bad at the game, it is the most relaxed experience when you're not trying to be a sweat. Yeah. However, I mean, Victoria's works. If two really big, really good uh, fleets go up against each other and you don't have a good computer, it might explode. Yeah, true. Or, like, he might actually explode. Alrighty. Uh, listen up. Is anybody yeah, here who has not well. the checksum 292A? No. Because if you do, that's the one you need, you should go down to the tech support Amunar channel where Red Frog is sitting. He's going to be... Right, how do I you tell to check something? If you're on the menu... You have, to, you have to get into the game, check the number, and then close it, if not, and reopen it the entire way. Every time. It's awful. I love yeah, on the bottom left of your menu. I mean, I also there's a check some in the, in the brackets. And you can also good. see it at the top left of the multiplayer menu. I, I'd just like to mention, guys, we never introduced Severin. We gotta do our introductory hello. We've practiced this, come on. Oh, there's 46 people here. <laughs> that would take Three, two, oh, God. one, hello. Hello? No, that's not, that's not gonna work. <laughs> we can hope. It, it was good. It was uh, it's good. impossible to do anything ah, at the same time. We tried Severin, we really did. We I mean, it's the same right. reason you can't sing together over a voice call. There's just delay. Yeah, well, you can, it's just not going to be very good. Yeah, sync with each other. It's automatically going to be a canon. We all Every make sacrifices. Everybody just has to polish their crystal balls so we can all communicate better. Yeah, I love my balls. <laughs> Have you tried moving your crystal ball closer to the window for a better connection? Have you tried refighting a friend the day? It's the magical interference. You gotta get it away Wait, from the other magic items. A gnome to the crystal ball. Did you guys don't have an enslaved mage in your room just as a just as a rider? Oh no! I bought a ruinborn battery from Vanille and I use him as a router. Uh, what I did is I, I I captured several gnolls and I just have them running on a big hamster wheel. Exactly. <laughs> I have several moderately enchanted. Luthiel Ion, I love. Oh. Yeah, my crystal ball is already on the roof. I'm not sure how I can get a better connection. Tie to a harpy. Pray to the magisterium. They might they might answer your prayers and give you a better a ball. No. Now I'm just gonna see how telecom company connected. Oh, who is who is the magisterium player? By the way, we need to know. That's Dino. I don't think he's here right now. Magic. Magic is on chat. Magic is on chat. Everybody I'm practice necromancy I now. I don't have to worry about mages trying to eat me. Everybody, everybody yeah, practice necromancy right now, guys. Well, I'm gonna blow up my What are you Whatever I need to survive. For the Emperor! What the heck? 
<laughs> Ma magic is currently not being regulated, guys. Everybody practice unregulated necromancy. If we got this. It Wait, are, are okay, we calling so the herd rules or are we going to be prosecuted after yeah. the fact? Two nine two nine two A. Yeah, all right, I'm good. Get the yeah. Woo -hoo. Some point, please. Oh, Is finally, it... Ozra got a got a large picture. I, I love you. This seems like a pretty good sign that everybody's got the right checks on so quickly. I mean, is it's there is there people not like just squad. not having it for once? That's very surprising. I know something suspicious. Maybe someone's away from the keyboard. Oh, Good Froggy is, is working with people the whole time, like since the past an hour. Oh, okay, gotcha. Dead. We got it done early. Good. Um, wait, the the ID is not up yet, right? No, no yeah. there's no ID up yet. We will do this no. in a moment. Then I just no. hand it out. No, I'm just don't just don't want to be behind. Don't wait, worry, guys. Your you, you daily hand? allocated allowance of crack will be coming. <laughs> just line up real nice, okay? <laughs> Can I get uh, extra rations today? Smile for the flash. Propaganda, are you here? We yes, live we, and we die, die for the host? Emperor! Why are you offered to host on the staff oh chat? Did Pro you? Propaganda oh, died of a crack no, overdose. I was just making sure I forgot the word. He, he took two oh, weeks of rations at the, the same time and just died. Emperor. Propaganda is True. always present. Well, the, the event started. Uh, we are missing a handful of people, not too many. The event started 15 minutes ago. Where's our Loren? Oh yeah, we're missing. Oh, did Hastening not show up? God damn. No, guys, we're missing all the important players. We don't have the Magisterium. We don't have Loren. Like, uh... That's good news for me. Okay, we're gonna give them. We're gonna give them a couple more minutes to go. Uh, I will post the ID now, so you can join the game. In a few minutes, I will I will have to say some points regarding the campaign. Um, uh -huh. Of course, of course. Is um, always rules around. But let me give you the ID is first. Is Wex here? Is 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 Wex two here? Wex is definitely yes. here. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Well, one here. of the Wexes, yeah. isn't it? It's no, both of the Wexes are here. Are here. Oh, both both of the Wexes are here. The Wex I hate Wex. Are here. Oh. The, the halfling pulling the strings has has shown up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. well, the are you the arm? The yeah, the, the emperor is actually two uh, two half ones that trench coat every time. Everybody respond copium to server ID one. Let's see how high we can get that number. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can find the uh, ID in the Umbana updates now. <laughs> Rip. Whoever's computer is deciding to host this. <laughs> I, I love I love watching numbers go up. Yeah, yeah I, 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 that's a lot of copium, my god. Copium. Uh, what? Okay, and is there a password? Uh, no, there's no password. Is not a name. No, no password. Password. Yeah. Yeah. To be someone yeah, really lucky with the same mods. Propaganda. Propaganda. Uh, you didn't enable the copyright. Hey, I'm here. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> little map of all the clouds. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh you got the it. actually played, I didn't Jesus. know. So that the magisterium, the magisterium is not going to be here, which means I have to okay. so we get him to like me. Right? Okay. Is he playing mages? No one apparently. He's gone. He ain't here. He is Di Dino. Like Dino tends okay. to show up late. He might get here a little bit later on. Yeah. Guys, I think someone turned off co-op. Uh, yeah, co-op. Co-op needs turning on. For the work. Yeah, 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 please, please. Otherwise, otherwise, it comes otherwise, down to I... if the magisterium doesn't arrive, I can always just annex all well, other you territory. Get the other true, 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 true. If you don't turn and call, like, like, I don't, I, I need that C2. Mean, turning off, turning off. Oh, that, that player map mode is beautiful. Yeah. Is anyone playing as Kafir? Yes. Uh, Okay. Why is it supposed to be sound? No one's I think you swapped. Yeah, no one's one, no one's playing. I'm all, I'm all alone out here. If anyone wants bol a bolo friend, uh, let me know. I think I think at least a hundred of us are coping right now. That's a lot of copium I'm seeing. If I die, I'll fuck Wait, I'll sorry, fuck was that Seg here? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, oh, okay, so I'll just all stop alone out here. <laughs> oh, good God. show. We will be bolo friends. I got no interest yeah. in going into the mountains. So if someone like, dies, uh, I would love an Iran and friend. The province is beyond Heroes Vale, though. If he's not going to be here. Do anyone here uh, do not uh, want to kill the Nolls? Beyond Heroes Vale. So you get to keep Heroes Vale. Did he turn co-op on? Wix and Corvoria have co-ops, right? 
just those yeah. two? Yeah. Yeah. I, I still can't believe Katarazzi and Akani split in 1984. Mm. I'm actually quite surprised that this is like at all stable. I guess yeah, like, well, look at Boba, look at all the We, we still countries. didn't start, so it, there is no stable. stability. It's just that we have a mod to ignore the people who are unstable. Exactly. Yeah. This is a lot of players, holy moly. Yeah, there be more. I, I've there seen more. There better be more. In an end in our context, how are we gonna roleplay people desyncing? Is it just like they've they've been tra transported back in time or something? Yeah, it's 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 a yeah, we can make up some weird like sickness or magical analysis. She shattered time. Exactly. Is it Pearl's Edge here? No. No, the drunkard, no, the drunkard has not shown up yet. Oh, shit. Oh, did we not have Pearl's Edge? Oh, come on. I want you to know yeah. the only I like that show. We have a duel! Yeah, he's not even on. Excuse me, him at least. He, he promised me a fucking away. duel for Netcliffe. You better not have run away like a coward. Yeah, he, he's not even online. On We're missing Discord, our big no. bads, too. No Laurent. Is it? Isn't there supposed to be an ad? Isn't there the supposed to be a Dame's Crown player? Like, what happened to Dame's Crown? Them. There was, yeah. Some people will not show up for the game, though. Be, do I keep that in look, mind. If people don't, we have Dame enough Crown. people. We're not going to be wanting for people if some guy shows No, 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 no. But I really want, I really want players to be Counts so, uh, Alexis, so I can, uh, you know. We currently only have three Alexis. How do I see play Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, geez, yeah. yeah. Wait, Paint the map over here. Man. Very colorful. And two of those electors don't really like me, so. <laughs> Wait, I, I, like, I, literally. Improve relation yeah. with AI. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> like a tiny fraction of the Aminarian showed up, huh? Well, yeah. maybe not tiny, tiny but a, a, good bit, tiny. a good bit. Oh, we only lacked like three players in uh, no four players. Yeah, I know. I didn't know we were, I, if I knew we were still three, I would have chosen my else other than admin cost. You can probably switch. Can yeah, you can probably switch, switch to something larger. Clear the bulwars, actually the best Abin, if you're yeah, switching off of Amp, do keep it do keep in mind Abincost was really competitive, so we did give that out like kinda of, there's so many people wanted that. Yeah. They've got like fifty dev in one province. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, can I, really they have crazy trade. Like, like, I'm just scared I want someone's gonna eat me right away. No, okay, let me clarify on that. Dustin will talk about that in a minute, but let me make that clear to everyone. You're not allowed to completely annex players without their permission. You can take territory Wait, and wars, but you can't just annex them. This is not a comp game. This is not a casual game. It's an RP okay. game. If you haven't read our server commandments, do so. We don't allow game ruining. So if they're down to this one province, at the most you can vassalize them. So, uh, okay. Leave, no, not doing that. Just to leave consent to question. Sometimes a player will will not want to keep playing as a one province, and he'll go play as another one or leave, and that's fine. But if he really wants to keep RPing even as one tile, that is completely his prerogative. Okay, but what if okay. you? Okay. Massive buff to Evan. Oh, like right okay. Right. okay. Not sure. I want to be oh. pirate. Everyone. You're a free city, yeah, aren't you? Want... They can't just attack you without the emperor kicking their ass. I think yeah. Nathalie yeah, wants someone yeah. to kill him. I would him. imply that the one I think it's also like 40 AE to take Ambon Cost or something. Yeah. There's absolutely Wait, no yeah, way the Lush like... would be willing to defend anybody in You're all land lovers. You're all cowards. Come at me. So, if that's the case, if you, somebody gets locked out of their mission tree because they can't take that promise, You will have to realize in an RP yeah. game, you will not get through your entire mission tree most likely. Yeah, uh, and that's something you kind of yeah. have to get away from. You'll get through part of it, it probably, but not all of it. You will also do some save edits. If yeah. For, uh, see, through the save edits. Is just like, I just remember Everfield needs to take islands. Like, he can't take Nathalair. Yeah. He basically, which is like the second thing in his mission tree. We can uh, probably do same well, as in games. Most, most I, mission trees you can also it? progress if you I might be able to vassalize it, but like, if, I, I'll talk about, I might start to say that it's if like, you know. If they're reasonable if, and you've done the prerequisites roleplay wise, you can request them from the game controllers. It's not going to for sure happen, but if it's reasonable, just let them know. Would you just eat them, then, I'm not, then release them in a vassal? Would you be able to request to form formables then, uh, if you're cooperating with other people that you don't want to kill, and you know, no. you know, like you need a province from them, and then it's like, all right, 
What well, one thing I would recommend you consider though, if you if you're cooperating with another player, and for example, he needs a bunch of land for his focus tree. Uh, if you do a war together, he takes it all, gets his focus tree thing done, and transfers you some or something like that. That's fine. We don't we allow that kind of stuff because it's more like role play, not meta. But you know, you don't make people do that, obviously. So you don't crush players. Absolutely. You should not. You should not be going into this game thinking, "How am I going to just massacre all my neighbors?" You're going to expand, of course, but like you know, you shouldn't just be <laughs> fucking over everyone. Yeah. It'll be yeah. more fun and more interesting if you go more with the diplo and the role play rather than just the the paint. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was gonna take exploration and just bleed to the new world, but like Abacost in a new land. No, that's fair. No. If Abacost no. like ends Shut up, up, if the entire mission tree conquest is like one, two, three, four, five, six additional provinces, they're just some pretty important provinces. I want all of the big. Also, I think I am live now. This is really fucking early, and I am cold as shit. It is like thirty-eight degrees right now. Uh, this is an Ambinar game. It's the beginning of the first Ambinar game we've done some time. We started one way back in the day. I think I was playing Laurent. We only went for one session. This is going to go for quite a while. It's a huge game. We've got almost 50 people in here, and it's all set in like Ambinar and Eskin and Bulwar. So it's going to be a pretty wild game. As usual, roleplay. I mean, I think you all expect that by now. Uh, we are going to be playing West M and uh, Metal Air. And I'll get into the background a little bit once we get going. We're still in lobby. We're still about to get started, so we shall see. Also, what's up, Note? Uh, I will be continuing the Grand Campaign most likely next week. I have said so many times. I'll say so again. I won't do really any streaming until Vicky 3 comes out. I will continue the Grand Campaign at that point and in Benar. But um, I've been working on a lot of YouTube videos, and I'm prioritizing YouTube over Twitch now for several reasons. One, Twitch... I really don't like some of the things Twitch is doing. I still want to stream on Twitch because I like to talk with people when I, when I play games and stuff like that. But I don't like some of the stuff that they've been doing lately. And, uh, two, I've just been really busy, so uh, we'll see. Well, uh, Thank you for the resub, Kenny. Good to see you, man. Easy Welcome this. back. Uh, Good to see you. Appreciate cool. it. But, yeah, um, sure. yeah, I've just, I've, I've got so many YouTube videos I've been working on. I've got, like, I think seven or eight Hoi ones coming out next week, and then I'm going to have, like, six or seven ones for Vicky 3 dropping, including a Victoria 3, uh, tutorial series, so... Dude, Twitch is not Twitch is not kind. Unless you're big, unless you're a big streamer, Twitch is not really nice to you. So yeah, I, I do like YouTube a lot more from what I've done with them. So we'll see. Oh, I prefer to get this thing going until people can actually start doing their shit. Um, a few more points I have to talk about before we start because we have a lot of new players and I want them to be on the same page with everybody else here. Um, regarding the Discord, I think most of you have already seen it. We are using a temp channel system, which means uh, down there, doo -doo 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 -doo, we have a category that is named temporary channels. If you join into the hub minus join to create channel, there's a bot that will move you in a separate channel that's just for you. And if you leave that channel again, it will be deleted. So once the session starts, everybody will be joining into that hub to <laughs> create their own channel. And everybody will basically have their own channel for themselves. And if you want to do VC roleplay, you just join... A Kenny, man! Jesus Christ! I appreciate the subs, man. That's a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. Goddamn, bro. Thank you. Very nice of you. Directly above those channels, you see there is a support channel. This is where I will be staying the whole time. I do not have a nation, so I'm in observe mode. I can see basically everything you, you guys are doing. Um, and below that, we have the other GCs, which is uh, the Nail, Gibbert, and Ruby Company. Those have their own channels, so they are on the top all the time, and you can quickly find them. So if you have issues with with the game mechanics or RP issues, problems with other players, you can join us. If I'm free, join me first, and then I might uh, relocate you to one of the other GCs. We just uh, lost the Everthlow player. Oh, no. Yeah. He'll be back. No. Um, Everthlow. The Electors have their own chat and VC. Uh, for the admins and staff around here, if you see the channels, just ignore them. It's it's meant to be for them alone to discuss stuff. The VC for you guys is still missing. I will create this once the game started. I think most electors aren't also in the electors RP chat right now. We're missing we're missing the mages. Well, there's uh, only three the mages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I he's think actually, I actually missed like Nino, Nino is yeah. here. Dino is here. So he uh, he's in the Discord. Uh, our big rival didn't show up. I'll talk about that when we get in game, but our big rival's not here. That's interesting. Just uh, like Lauren. 
Give him some coffee. Coffee. smack him in the I face, wake him up. It's not it's not easy to, to figure out who exactly is missing. Uh, Froggy is, as we speak, going through the list of the signups I posted and is looking who exactly is missing. And then I might be I might be making an update of uh, who might be protected or not, but uh, this I'm not inclined to protect one second. Oh me mute one second. Uh... What's up? Yeah, I'm streaming. Oh, cool. Thank you. It's nice of you. Oh, that's the actual kind. <laughs> Buffalo. Thank you. I knew you'd like it. Oh yeah. You're back early. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go do something, so. Nice. Was, I had a nice time. Good, I'm glad you had a good time. Had it was time. cold, did you, this morning? Yes, it was 35 degrees. I, I, like, I was seeing my breath, like, all this morning and stuff. Really? Oh, yeah. I, you need me <laughs> to turn the heat on? I think you've got your heat duct covered yeah, here, though. Yeah, it's fine. It's just put on layers of clothing. It's fine. Uh, it's going to get really cold. I've done it last two uh, winters. It was fine. You know, okay. Yeah, it was all good. Did you let Buddy out this morning? Yeah. Okay, because he was out when I was... Yeah, I just oh. let him. I got I got up a little bit early. I started stream and. I thought I'd put him out yesterday, and he never came back in the house. No, no, <laughs> no. It's I, that that was not the case. I checked. Oh my god. No, 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 no. He's, he's fine. Kind of early, so. Okay, I'll let you stream. All right, I'll have fun. <laughs> Specifically, I've been mentioning in the discussion chat below, we will be doing, and I've added this into the rule extensions. We will be doing the scorched earth one where you can only scorch earth in your own provinces, not the ones you occupy or besiege or whatever, just the ones you own yourself. On provinces other than that, scorch earth is banned. Do not use it because it just is, it gets used too toxic or people at least feel like it's used uh, in a toxic way. At the same time, uh, wars you're doing in the first years, there are no limitations on uh, AI wars, so you can attack the AI on right on. For players, please please wait five years. I mean, if you attack an AI that's allied to a player, that's fine, but not directly attacking a player. So everybody has enough time to get settled and get this game going before every go everything goes to shit already. Regarding the wars, I think this is obvious, but no cheat, uh, no cheesing, no baiting, uh, and no surprise wars. Don't gather all your army at the border and. Uh, declare the war and attack his army while he has no morale or whatever give him some time to adjust at least get him his morale back so you can have like an actual fight uh, for the wars i expect everybody who's doing wars especially in pvp to do rp statements around them so i need at least one rp statement in advance well in advance with uh, your motivation for the war and what your goals are so this is for me or the, the GC team to, if there are complaints or whatever, so we can go into the public statements and see what the motivations of the war are, so we can make decisions upon of that. I'm sorry, is this solely for PvP wars or also PvE? Uh, that's PvP wars. But PvE as well, you need a reason to go to war with an AI. Yeah, you you, uh, you should have a reason, but you don't have to do like huge well, no explanations. Uh, so like, on the I were... Thank you for the sub mage. I oh. appreciate it. You're and Kenny, sub. goddamn. I'm gonna have to report you back to Kuz. Appreciate y'all. That was my aunt, by the way. She's really, really, really nice. She's cool. She just got back from something she was doing. And she, uh, she, she's never commented about the flags. I think she said she liked the Venetian one, though. That's what you're doing. You just explain that that's why you're going to war with them there. Yeah, exactly. Because of the demonstrification. The more obvious your reason is, the easier. I was kind of seeing someone, but I'm not anymore. So, we'll see. As I mentioned before, try not to, like, uh, out cheese your opponents, especially in PvP and attack their uh, armies without morale, give them just a little bit of time. At the same uh, time, your expansion, if you win a war, should be realistic. So don't just go for the 100 war score every time and take everything you can. Uh, realistic, I mean in that way that it was difficult in that time to actually acquire new lands and keeping the ownership of that land because there are internal conflicts that arise that are not perfectly uh, displayed in this game by mechanics. So just keep your exponi uh, expansion a little bit limited, and then we should be fine. I have one question. If I may. Yeah, sure. Shoot. If a province is protected, how are you going to keep the AI from eating them? Because Gawed, if allowed, will just eat green scale and then blue scale. Oh yeah, if, if, if nations are protected, uh, they usually are for the whole session, so we would be editing that back between the sessions. Okay, just want to make sure. After the session, I will also make an announcement how we're going to deal with editing stuff.
So like we, uh... describing what the categories are, where we do the editing and where we don't do them, and how are you going to do them? So how are you going to contact us? Here, here ants like substances. How, oh, I've got those uh, kind too. We should the, the, the ones I have up again. in Idaho are exactly what but you're describing. But that will follow after the, the session. You don't have to. Oh, man, I got a story about right that. Now. I'll maybe tell later. In terms of what channel we can be in at any time, so what channel should we usually just be in, like with allies or just on your own until like someone comes to you? Uh, usually, you should be on your own. Um, but since you, when you engage in RP, you usually are not alone. So if you, yeah. you can visit your your ally and just like talk about current situations or whatever. That that's totally fine. Just don't sit together the whole time because they potentially uh, should be open to be approached by other per people as well. At the same time, uh, things tend to get very casual if you just sit together the whole time. I've experienced that myself. And if you mm -hmm. if you're in like an you're alliance for a like... very good reason, it's fine. But if you're just like bored, I wouldn't go into people's VCs because it will just make the roleplay go way lower quality. Generally, uh, unfortunately, like after games, before games, there's plenty of time to hang out with people, and that's great. But in the game, you will suffer from a lack of roleplay due to it. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, I, I just want to let you know the Silver Forge player uh, decided to to drop it. I just asked him. What do you mean? Hey, no, 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 I, I just messaged him. He said his, his nerves got way too bad for playing it. Is it got too bad? bad? Nerves? No, no, no. I mean, I, I can stream it. He said nerves. He decided to drop Well, don't, don't yeah, call him out publicly he... for it. If, if he's got nerves, let's not be, like, yeah. doing that, yeah. but... Yes. Yeah, I'm a... <sighs> Ain't nobody can find them a little indica? No, no, what I'm going to say is that he, he's dropped it, okay? So he, he won't be here for, What's like, a lollipop? at all. Free fall at Sony uh, DLC if you had it from Microsoft Store. Thank you, Mage. Yeah, do that, I don't use so. it, but nice. someone else does. Ah, uh, yeah. We get more electors. That's great. Um, yeah, the if anyone too has any deals with Ruby like Hold, with Silverforge, could they please write to me? I'm... Oh, I had a, I had some <laughs> workings with Silverforge as a neighbor of them. As Ash. She yeah, promised me a lot of gold. I think you said you'd give me all of your income permanently was the deal we came to, so... Um, <laughs> yeah, you, guys, yeah. you, you guys can call that in the temp channels when, when the game starts, because this is really, really too crowded, and we want to get this thing going since we are... Yeah, I usually start the game like 10 minutes after the event, which would be 13 minutes ago. Um, one last thing, this is the first campaign we do like this, with all the closed... Uh, areas and people being so close to each other and we really wanted to try this out so please put your effort into politics diplomacy and all that stuff uh expansion will be pretty limited because first of all we don't want you to expand too fast and second of all there are a lot of players in the way right now so try to really play that part of being an empire and or being a little opm uh, as well and try to navigate through this diplomatic field do we have uh, lucky nations? Like, no, no lucky nations. No lucky nations. Oh, oh, thank God! It's on right now in historical. Oh, then probably gonna turn that off, please. What are the, what are lucky nations? Uh, oh, they just get random bonuses. Yeah. Can you turn off victory cards as well because it uh, hurts their stakes? Victory cards should be off. Uh, by the way, uh, in Andonar MPs, someone will get the Great Conqueror events. Please don't yes. turn yeah. that on. Yeah, turn that off. Yeah. Yeah, whoever gets that, turn it off. It's, it's weird just... that the host Aww. doesn't get it. Because it's I had that in the past. Tag. It's the tag uh, I think it's the first tag, so it yeah. should be Westdam or Mordink. But if it's Westdam, we're fine. I'm gonna just turn it off. <laughs> the what uh, game? Hold on! <laughs> should be Is anybody soon. missing in the in the lobby right now? Shout now. Uh, did Aperthil player? Yeah, did Aperthil player come back? No. Nope, he's dead. Moving on. Yeah. No, no, he's 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 still role playing. I am. I'm here. I'm ready. I was just muted. Yeah. Hello, uh, Cedar. Good to see you, man. Glad glad you're alive. How's it going? What's up, Scoby? None of us. It's been a long time, man. I hope you are well. You have to leave and rejoin again. Yeah, Mage. What's this game you're giving to people? What's this penis climbing game? I need answers here. Okay. This is a little suspect. Briefly cut out and then. You're just totally good, dude. You gotta come back, cause you're not in. We're about to get started, it's yeah, just logistical sorry, I, stuff. I, this is a huge right game now. again. I've What's a good commander? The list of everyone, I yeah, no, no hard feelings, it's all good. Yeah, Mage, what are you playing just, over uh, there, goddamn? Quit out and go back in. You understand Hoyle? I understand that. In, oh, because nobody else is, uh, Every Paradox games are appealing a lot more to me now, to be honest. Starting. One last thing, uh, I 
sadly have to leave 30 minutes early. Uh, but since if we have no major issues in the game, got a girlfriend. Um, Fuck I yeah, I'll see that. You'll be living a good life, minutes, man. I'm glad. I'm not the host today, anyways. Um, who, who is Monarchy? Yeah, it's a big game. What the everyone? Who is oh, Momoki is seven. Uh, Momoki is, is me. I, I am Momoki. Okay, cool. He is He's God. Yes. He's cast the lost in the home. Bro, I got to for you, God, man. I, I didn't realize I was said that I was Hobo Man. He's Agrados himself, watching us from hell. So, uh, how long is the host going for? Four hours. And we've already 30 minutes in, so... Four hours. You know. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, this is yeah. the first session. We're probably going to get to uh, 14.45 at the end of the session. Exactly. I, yes, I agree. This is the first, first session, session as well. So it, Dustin, it are we good to go or are we waiting time. on anything else right now? Uh, Emperor are you coming? I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're waiting for him to join. Okay. He will be coming. Schnell, schnell, los, los, los. I, Just a heads up, guys. This is why you always show up early for games so you can get in and stuff like this. In the future, we're not going to allow for all this time. In the future, please get to games beforehand so we can help you with any problems that you might have. Because if you show up late and do it in your important country, uh, it, it can be very inconvenient. So just heads up about hey, that. He, he didn't know. I know, I'm just saying, broadly speaking, for people. It's, it's not to what it's you, always better. It's fine. Just because uh, I, in the future, I will not be waiting for people. So we will have a re-host in the middle of the game. So if people are late, they most likely have to wait for that to happen. Sometimes for the first session, we will start a little bit late, and then people assume that that's normal, and then they show up late. This is not normal. So just heads up about that. Okay, okay, hang on. No Vercalgulan player? This makes me sad. Or then Corellia? Well, that's interesting. No, I'm not. This Abbot is very flat and full of trees and cold. I'm just going to take a while, I guess. It's like your player in this kind of thing would be nice. like someone says meet up and then ask you to buy them Steam gift cards. What happened with Daska Surfer? Has that happened to you, Kenny? It's in announcements, I'm pretty sure. I've been out updates. What about the stream more if you didn't go completely into the but I see Avatar? Oh, yeah. No, that's fair. It's not for everyone. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I'm going to dramatically be changing how I just kind of do stuff from now on. I will talk about that when we get going. We got time. All right, I'm going to talk a bit about that. Um, two things. One, I'm very burnt out on Hoy, guys. Like, dramatically burnt out on Hoy. I will play it now and again. I'm a primarily MD, and I'll probably play single player. But it's not as interesting to me as it used to be, so I'm not just going to constantly stream Hoy like I used to. Uh, I stopped streaming on Twitch because I'm working more on YouTube now. I don't really plan for that to change in the future. YouTube, like, actually helps my shit get found. And, like... It's weird, because I wish I had started streaming just to play games and chill with people, and I still enjoy that. But, like, I also really do enjoy making, like, the videos and making, like, the roleplay stuff now. And uh, I can do that in a way better format on YouTube. It just appeals to me more. A, because I can make, like, full-on, like, roleplay story videos, which I really like doing. It's a lot of fun. And two, it actually gets seen by people. Like, if I do stuff on Twitch, like... I mean, I can hang out with y'all, but it doesn't really do anything, whereas, like, YouTube actually kind of makes an effort. So, I don't know. For me, what I do with roleplay is beginning to be more like an art sort of thing for me, I guess. And I'm not saying it's some great piece of art. It's not. But I, I kind of do it like that more, and I enjoy doing it that way more. So, I will focus more on YouTube from here on out. I will still stream, especially after when Vicky 3 comes out. I'll... I will stream a lot of Vicky 3. Uh, going into the future, I do ex probably plan to only stream two or three days a week from here on out. Probably one day of D&D &D and then two days of other stuff. So just heads up about that. But, yeah. Just kind of, I don't know. Plus, Twitch is just doing some stuff I really don't like. Like, the way they're starting to make it even harder for just, like, people to, to do stuff. I mean, Twitch has always been, like, a very profit-heavy, predatory entity. But they're getting even worse, and I just really don't like it. So... But anyway, after Vicky 3 starts, I will be streaming a lot. I will stream a lot after Vicky 3 drops. Um, I'm not just going to be a Hoy streamer anymore, though. I've decided on that. It's just, I don't know how guys like Tommy K can do it, personally. Or, like, you know, any of those other big Hoy streamers. I just get kind of bored of it. And I'm just not going to stream and make stuff if I'm bored. <laughs> so, uh, expect me to just play a lot of different Paradox games from here on out. I'll roleplay pretty much as I normally do. I'll do more single player, too. I'll do more single player YouTube as well. But, um... I don't want to just keep constantly doing Hawaii, and I don't want to just keep constantly doing Twitch, so I will kind of change how I do things. Yeah, the ads. I really don't like the ads. 
it, it really pisses me off. Like, and if they really start forcing ads, I will probably just go stream on YouTube itself too. Like, I'm not gonna stick around on Twitch if they keep doing that. They haven't added that yet. To be fair, I, I Dankus is probably rolling ads. You can, you can. So the way you can do it when you have a channel right now is they require pre-roll ads. So like when pe when you join a stream, you have no control over an ad that gets played. I I can't stop those, unfortunately. The ads that get played in the middle of a stream, that is chosen by the streamer. Right now, they're not required. So if you see ads in the middle of a stream, that streamer is choosing to run them. Uh, it, but in the future, they're talking about basically forcing it. So I, I wouldn't be able to control ads in the middle of my stream, and I, and I don't want that. So I'm kind of mentally preparing to potentially just not stream on Twitch. We'll see. Like... I mean, I put a lot of effort into, like, you know, streaming on here and stuff like that, and I like the people that I talk to on here, all of you guys, but, like, man, I just can't justify streaming on a platform for a group like that. It's just so disgusting, you know? Anyway, that's that's kind of, like, where I'm at with, with different stuff, so, yep. Twitch uh, only forced a 50-50 count. I don't care about that. I'm not a partner, so that doesn't affect me. My, my major issue is the forced ad running. That, I do not want and I'm not going to do. That's my big issue with Twitch, with what they're talking about doing. So we'll see. That being said, I need to go over the background of this game, so we're going to go ahead and get going on that. If you need someone to ban a uh, gamer comment on YouTube, I can help. Uh, do you stream on YouTube? No, I don't. I haven't up until now. I'm not going to unless I really need to. Um, I'll only do that if Twitch does what they said they might do. If not, I'll just keep going on Twitch. I do like Twitch, but... There is ad blocker, but it's not available to everyone. I'm ultra blower to Paradox Games. I feel that. All right, let me go over, like, kind of setting. This is Ambinar. It's a fantasy. We haven't done diplomacy. It's a fantasy setting game uh, in EU4, essentially. It goes through all the different ages, much like EU4 does, but it's in a fantasy context. This is basically a fantasy world that goes through the age of the Renaissance, uh, Revolution, and all that kind of stuff, including artificing and stuff like that. So it's kind of set in that era. I'll be making a YouTube tutorial, not YouTube tutorial, I'll be making a YouTube series out of this, and I'll explain the background in that, but up until then, we're playing West Dam, which is in a personal union with Metalair. Uh, the ruler of Metalair is basically in charge. It's the Queen Regent, because, oh man, there's so much lore of this. I'm, I'm going to try not to lore dump too hard, but I kind of have to. So, our heir, the guy who's going to take over, is Lauren Silmuna. He's from one of the most famous and powerful families in the game. They're very strong magical users. Arguably, they, they probably are descended from a, a god as well. Uh, however, they have fallen on hard times. The recent emperor who was elected basically destroyed half of the family. So there are, there's not many of them left. Lorne Silmuna's in West Dam. Roger Silmuna's out east with an adventure company. And there's really none left of this family. The person who's really in charge because he's six years old. This is Ambinar Lollipop. Uh, is is the, the Marquise Regent. Reina the second of Madelaire, which is here. So the way she factors into all this is our character, or I guess our leader's father, basically had an affair with her. They never got married. They had two kids. One of them died in the Lilac Wars, which is basically like the Hundred Year War that was happening right before the start of the game. The second one is only six, is the only one left alive. So she's in charge. I've been, as usual, doing a ton of roleplay in the Discord prior to the start of this game. We've already got a lot of relations with a bunch of people, which there's so much of it I can't even begin to go over it. Um, notably, we're friends with BPEC and we're friends with Lauren. The Lauren player didn't show up, so it is what it is. But anyway, we're going to be role-playing as the, uh, the Marquise Regent to start off with, and then later when he comes of age, we're going to be role-playing Lauren Silmuna. I role-played that basically he got kidnapped. Uh, he, he's off with Roger Silmuna off an S-Scan right now, so Lauren's isn't even around. It was like a, a whole thing. I, I made like a wanted poster and everything for him. So he, he's, he's not here right now. So we'll be playing her to start with. Again, it's a personal union. Our primary holdings are in West Dam. Our secondary personal union holdings are in our mother's territory, which is Madelaire, which is one of the Laurenti Wine Lord houses. Again, there's so much lore with this game. I <laughs> I will try and get out a YouTube video uh, very quickly so you understand a bit of the background because I wanted to like, do a little like intro where I talk about the game and then the family and stuff like that. But again, just think basically fantasy Holy Roman Empire. Like, HRE and EU4 put into a fantasy world. That's what we're doing. There's the Empire of Ambinar, which we're a part of. It's a giant political block. The Emperor's Wex. We've got a fuckload of players, so it's going to be all politics. But, yep. 
I get that Twitch is a platform. The platform should make some profit for making this available to streamers, but it should be not due to the point it's not feasible to make money for streamers. I, that's the thing is I don't want ad revenue. I don't really care about it. One, I don't make a lot of it. And two, it's just not what my priority is. Like, if I want to make money, it's not through ads because it inconveniences you watching, right? Like, like I, the reason I stream is to play games with people and then, like, play a game that people can enjoy. And, and ads really disrupt that, even ruin it, frankly. At least with YouTube, you can skip them, with, with Twitch, you often can't. And that I just do not like. So, ah, yeah. I, again, if they, if they force those, I'm going to dip. So, I'll be over on YouTube streaming. But we'll see. They, it looks like they may back down from it because there's a lot of people who have said similar stuff. So, we'll see. All right, first things first, let's get something passed in our parliament. We're going to get ahead and take the sailors, I think. So we have an alliance with BPEC. That's one we've negotiated. It's a very strong one. They're basically a halfling, like, trading uh, elector. So they don't have a strong military, but they are very wealthy. And we've agreed, prior to the roleplay, I made a deal with them. Where basically they get x so we'd help them, and we get a bunch of gold and their support. For a number of things in the future. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, we also need to go do some diplomacy with the Great Ording. There's a lot of Diplo I need to go and do. But I want to wait a little bit here just to get going. You can't skip ads on YouTube live streams, you know. Yes, but they don't run as many as Twitch. Which is the important part. Because to me, my my priority for what I choose to stream on would just be like... The, the, the least possible amount of basically just inconvenient things that disrupt what I'm doing essentially. That's how I would look at it, at least. So there's a whole, there's a bunch of different races, like the fantasy world, and there's a bunch of mechanics. So there's mechanics for which races you allow in your military. There's mechanics for what races you just generally tolerate, which we can play around with roleplay wise. Uh, West Dam has mainly humans. We have some half elves, a few dwarves, a few gnomes, and that's about it. Everything else we don't really tolerate much. So we're mostly human. This whole area over here, the, the elves basically landed here a couple hundred years ago. They're integrated all over. There's little elven pockets all over this region. But this area here, Lauren and then the Wine Lords, it's really heavily integrated with like elven cultures. So there's a lot of like half elf families here. I will not explain all the lore though, because otherwise I'll be sitting here explaining to it you like the whole game. So I probably should have done a single player Ambidar game before this, just so I could give folks a little bit of context, but Hopefully, you'll catch on as we go here. Yes, they do. BPEC has access to very, very good mercenaries. All right, I'm going to go and send... We're going to go do some Diplo, because we got a lot of that we need to do after I set my rivals. We are, of course, going to set Pearl's Edge. That player didn't show up. We had a whole playing plan that was going to be really fun, but I guess we're not going to get to do it. We will, of course, rival Durane. And then we will also rival... I think we'll go for Riveria because we've been raided by them in the past. They're basically raiders, these guys. All the northern region are like Norse raiders. Gawad's like Russia. Laurent and the Wine Lords are basically like France and like, I guess, the Lowlands. And then this whole region over here is basically Germany, if you want to put it in like EU4 context. All right, let's go see what's up with BPIC. So many people in this game. I have to go find him. Where is he? Let's see, Hamurabe. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, Greetings. Wisdom. Greetings, yes. This is an the ambassador of the uh, region. X yes, X, uh, as you might know, Arshis is the air to X -wisk. Wonderful. I, I am a, I am a messenger sit here by uh, Reina the Second. I believe that there was a deal made with the Lord Elector of BPEC regarding Exwis, and we wish to know if you still plan on following through on that. We do indeed plan on following through. Uh, it will happen uh, in less than a year. There will Very be well. war. Well, as you know, you have a formal alliance with my uh, with my liege, and we have our armies ready on the border, prepared to strike Exwis as soon as you wish. Uh, we would also suggest that you get your navy ready, and uh, working alongside the West Damian Navy, we should be able to immediately uh, defeat them on all fronts. Very well. Uh, be advised, our navy has been somewhat reduced for the time being, as we are currently rebuilding uh, many of our ships into trade ships. Uh, ah. As such, our current navy is weaker than it should be. That's we should be able to deal with the ex Navy, but just in case, uh, I will let my rigid know, and I would advise that you immediately link your fleet up with ours. Even if they're trade ships, we can still uh, use them in a potential naval engagement. 
Certainly. I will ask you for uh, military access for the time being. Of course. And uh, they will be standing outside your border before the war begins. And a 200 gold payment will, of course, be yours as discussed. As well as the other agreements that my region told me that you would know about. Of course, of course. Very well. In that case, we look forward to uh, working together in the future. Having such a strong ally is a very uh, important thing to my region, especially given the recent instability uh, with events in Laurentane. Indeed. The... uh... We had we did indeed have deals with Lauren, but they no longer seem to respond to us, so we must make adjustments accordingly. Out of roleplay, he is coming, he'll just be a bit late. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Still kind of annoying. <laughs> it's a multiplayer game. Some people will just show up late or not at all. You gotta Do you remember. know how late he will arrive? He just messaged me, so he's around. We'll see. They might right. be hot joining him right now, actually. We'll see. Oh, no, well, that'd be great. No, he probably was in a he probably ate a bunch of pickled herring, was in a stupor. That's what tends to happen. That makes sense. I hope you're watching Hastening. Anyway. <laughs> I have to go talk to uh, the Emperor real quick. Cause, Sounds uh, good. We've uh, we discussed what I wanted, so just uh, give me give me a heads up when you're going to go in. Yes, and my honorable representative from uh, Arburn, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. And, uh, of course, the representative from Arburn has the uh, respects of my region, but I will need to be going. Mm, do so does he. So does he, to my bad. All right, cool. Yeah, we agreed to a war assisting BPEC to take x Weiss. They're going to take a lot. We won't get really much besides payment, but we are getting a major ally, which, given the fact that Metalair uh, has lost her, two of her sons and is surrounded by enemies, we would think in a roleplay context would be more important. So we'll go for that. You can use ad blockers. Those don't work well on Twitch. No, they don't. Twitch has ways to get around them, unfortunately. Did you play the new EU4 DLC, Hamu? No, I did not. I wasn't very interested in it. It just didn't really appeal to me in any way. So no. I really love Ambinar. I know a ton of lore, so I can help lore dump when uh, you keep playing. Commander, if there's, like, any big lore things that I don't have time to explain, if you could just mention a little bit about it in chat, I would appreciate that. I might have missed an answer due to having to help my mother in some quick cleaning. No, you're fine. Just if you see any big lore items that people might understand, if you could, if people ask if you could explain it if I'm in Diplo or something, I would appreciate that. You don't have to, but if you feel like it, by all means. We also did get a Diplo message. A letter from Salorn. Greeting the Lord of Westem. <laughs> He's missing, but I would like to extend an offer of royal marriage between our houses so that we may be united against a shared foe, Lawrence. Okay. He is playing Salorn, which would be Killian Thomas the first Sil Salorn. Let's see if we can go talk to him. I prefer to do actual diplomacy over letters 99% of the time. It's a, oh, it's yeah. a tough thing. Those Laurent bastards. Oh, greetings. Greetings. I, I, I hope I am not interrupting. I am an ambassador from the court of the Marquise Regent, Reign of the Second. I was expecting such a visitor. Wonderful. She wishes, uh, she sends her respects, but as you know, she is currently searching for her son, the heir to West Dam, and as such, unfortunately, was not able to attend. However, I will be here in her stead and are able to negotiate in all things for the Marquise Regent. Wonderful, wonderful. As you, in my letter, I requested a bang, binding of houses between our two. You did. More for the idea that we can stand up against this Laurent threat. I will say that, uh, are you not aware of the fact that the Marquis Regent and West Dam is a close friend of Laurent? Not for, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, not the most knowledgeable person am I about such relations, I must ah. Well, of course, all things you said here will be will be in good faith, and I will not run around telling every court uh, in Ambinar about what is said, but I will say that uh, the currently West Dam and uh, the Honorable Regent of Madelaire uh, is very close with Killian Solorio, so I would caution you to consider that uh, when discussing with us. Just I so I don't have to say anything to my Regent nope. that you wouldn't like uh, to be said. Of course, of course. Thank you well, the your... red is not currently the issue here. The issue is Durain. Durain is a big threat to us as well, and that is a conversation we would love to have. Listen, also, want... greetings, Duke. Is that Duke Creston? <laughs> on, it, on it to you and your house. And you and yours. I'd hope to be able to speak with you in the future as well when the regent had wished me to do so, so it is good to see you here. So as it is, me and Saloran were playing to d- divvy up the rain, so to speak. But for that, we would need mar- we would need uh, access through Metalair, and-, and potentially a for- 
uh, armed threat to our own, as they are currently allied with Elysian. You know we hold no good faith for the damn Duranis. Duke Aiden is a threat to the Wine Lords, and he is considered one of the biggest priorities for my uh, honorable region. We would be interested in assisting in this war, assuming, of course, uh, the Queen Regent, or the Marquis Regent, and when he returns, undoubtedly, Lauren Silmuna would receive some of the, uh, the territory that would be divvied up. I promise you Westport. Westport? Uh, for... I, I, I do not wish to uh, go around, but I do believe that uh, the, the King of Lauren already has eyes upon that, so I, I would be cautious with suggesting you can hand that out. That is a difficult well, conundrum. Laurent has visions on most of Leon Gore. I know, I know that uh, I know that Killian Solorial is a reasonable man and could be reasoned with, but I think to suggest that he would not want the prize of Durane for himself would be a very dangerous assumption. Perhaps a minor port in the south. That would be agreeable. I, my region sent me here with one main goal: that is that we secure a port in the west. Clear shore, then. But. But if I give you clear shore, he have no he have no route except to go through you. Uh, we would we would propose that in such a war that we be granted Derham's Fort and Lansk. That's all we would like in the west, and then potentially Castile in the east. Hmm. All right. As it is, though, I that that is a. I assume you mean to sail west, like I've been hearing mutterings about. Indeed, we have heard rumors that there are potentially lands back in the west, and my regent. She had, before he'd gone missing, planned to get uh, the young Marquise to be trained in naval affairs so he might benefit from whatever this is. But to have a port in the West would be a very strategic thing, given recent news, don't you think? However, all right, I, I agree. But on the other hand, Lensek is a bastion of Lolorentis culture that I mean to champion. I would I would happily let you have it, but only until you, you've uh, dealt with whatever, whatever lies in the West. Upon which I'd like it, like it returned to proper hands. For which territory? Uh, Lensk. Ah. No, uh, I'm afraid not. The western port would be a permanent affair. We have no interest in the rest of Durrani, but that port would be a permanent uh, territory of Madalair, or potentially West Ham, if it is one day integrated by young Lorne Silmuna, assuming he is still alive. Perhaps a trade can be struck for the island of Vanail. Once left from their shores, you could possibly settle. I think that that is something that may or may not be, and I know my region would not wish me to make deals upon things that are possibilities and not actual, uh, in reality. Hmm. We will consider your offer then. Thank you for your time, Ambassador. Of course. I will make it clear that this is a reasonable suggestion from my region, and uh, we could negotiate the terms. But, very well. I will leave you be. Send word when you can. And I will say... Wait. Sorry? Uh, I, I would just like to I would just like to request uh, military access. Uh, we uh, would be only willing to give it after you would agree to a deal with the, the, the uh, Marquis region. Given our strategic position, we would like to obviously uh, have a deal made before we could agree to such a thing. All right, then. I will consider it. Very well. Thank you for your time. So I'm going to be role-playing uh, role Raina the Second as, like, a very experienced, very real politic kind of woman. She has seen a lot of suffering, but she's also been born and bred noble, so she's very, I would say, probably politically competent. I believe her skills are pretty high in that, too. Yeah, she's a 4-4-1. Not strong militarily, but she is a very good diplomat and a good administrator. And she's malevolent! Oh, man, I didn't see that. Okay, so we're RPing that really well, then. We got a roleplay malevolent uh, regent. That's interesting. The Silmunos, who will be in charge of West End, was considered by most of the Empire Beyond to not be worthy of the Silmunos dynasty due to the mother's part of the destruction of the majority of their dynasty. Specifically, it was due to Lawrence Silmuna's father. Uh, no, sorry, his grandfather. Our current heir, Lawrence Silmuna, his grandfather betrayed basically his whole family. The Silmunas were really powerful over here, and they owned all of that. And then we were basically the cadet branch, so we were like a, a, a knockoff version of the Silmunas. And uh, we betrayed them, so a lot of people hate us for it. In the actual lore, that's basically because our family got treated like absolute garbage. 
Like, they treated us like we were less than dirt, and so we betrayed them for it. And uh, it resulted in them being absolutely slaughtered and losing all their lands. So we're very much hated. Uh, Lawrence's father was also hated, but he died fighting. His brother was hated, he also died fighting. Lawrence Lamoon is the only one left from this, like, disgraced family. So... I'm going to probably try and roleplay like a redemption arc, which is why he's off with Roger Silmuna right now. So we'll see. When you get the offer military exits, just let be like, uh, keep dreaming. Yeah, no, that's 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 our power in these negotiations. So we're not just going to hand that away. They will probably try and cut us out. The wine lords all down here are basically known for like being very political. Hello? It's uh, an envoy from the King of Laurent. Uh... Ah, welcome. To the court of Madelaire, Ambassador. Well, do you have news of my son, perhaps? Yes, we, uh, as the king has already written, we are, our um, mages have, uh... You have ascertained where, he, where he's gone. Do you, do you know where he is? Yes, he's quite clearly in Vex. Um, the exact location in Vex, I mean the city, is, as of yet, not reachable. Out of, out of roleplay, which city? Did, 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 uh, yes, it, it's probably in, in Vex, the city. Oh, in Wex, Wex. Okay, interesting. Vex, Vex. Yes. Had a role he, play. You uh, know he's in the Sons of Demaria, right? We had, had a whole. We, yeah, yeah. We had a whole conversation about that. Demaria. He's he's out. Uh, he's out east with like the other, only other Silmuna, Roger uh, Silmuna. We we talked about that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, cool. yeah yes. Yes, the DM me and I'll come back and do actual roleplay. No, no, you can just keep going off it. I, it's fine, man. Yes, uh, the Sons of Demary. Um, he's been taken by the Sons of Demary. Um, because like out of roleplay, the, the way I I kind of suggested it to you was like that's where he went. But if you want to uh, well, use it as a cast his belly to go after Godwin, you could and just lie. Basically, was what I had suggested. Yeah. Look, up um, to you. Yes, yeah, uh, um, I'm just we we have prepared some some spell casting against Galway to to scry upon their leadership. Um, it's quite clear that that uh, he has been there. Um, although it, in itself it's an escalation. We're already in a conflict over over a small country. I understand. Well, in that case, I assume you're making plans to make the Gawidis pay for this and get back your cousin, my heir, my son. Yes, yes, it will. It will be a r rather large war. I, Good. I, you have you have the full armies that Madelair and Westem can bring to bear against this enemy. I can promise you that. Yes, thank you. Of course. I will also call upon um, call upon um, our allies. Uh, in in particular, Wax. We we um, will make this <laughs> quite. It will be a but full imperial war, then, you wish to wage against the Goedes. Yes, yes, it's clear. They, they have, they have um, taken taken hostile hostage a ruler of... Uh, one of the Silmuna well, line as well. Yes, one well, of the, the great silver well. families, indeed. Yes, yes. Very well. Uh, yeah, understandable. And we, we will, of course, back you in all things. On a very different note, Ambassador, I wish for you to relay to King Killiam uh, the fact that some of the wine lords are considering a conflict of Durrani. Uh, they are suggesting a divvying up of their lands. We, of course, are no friend of that cursed family and would wish to be involved with this. But given our close relationship, we would like to convey to you that this is brewing to yourself. So just something to keep in mind. I guess, Dirani, we, uh, are, we, have, we have plans ourselves and we, we, lay, cl of we lay claim to, to the Dirani lands close to, uh, to our capital. Uh, of course. Uh, but you, you would still agree to what we uh, discussed. I hope that the king will still agree to what we discussed last time. Yes, yes, yes. Um, a port um, on the west coast. A western port um, and then Castile as well. Yes. Although not west po port. I, I. No, of course I, not. We, we, we had agreed and discussed before with your king was that we would take the port of Lensesk. Which is all yes, that we had asked for. Yes. That is, uh, that is all. Wonderful. Reasonable. I am glad that the Kingdom of Laurent continues to honor their promises. And I hope yes. that uh, King uh, Achillean Solorial is in good health. And tell him uh, that he has my eternal thanks for finding where my son is. And I hope through this war we will get him back. Thank you. Thank you. 
Is there anything will, else I, I can do, Ambassador? Um, I'm not in the game, so I I, can't. I, I know, but diplo wise. Um, not right now. Good Very day. well. I'll be back uh, soon. Good day. Very well. It was good to speak with you. What have they gotten themselves into? He's in two wars right now. There are a lot of wars currently going. I can't follow the politics of it, so we'll just focus in on what we're doing. Hold on, who are they at war with? They went to war with Durrani without our permission. Without our acceptance. So... This is a strategical... So, the Ording basically didn't agree to fight with us. They've done a separate war with Durrani completely. They're not uh, gonna basically try and let us in at all. They're gonna try and cut us out of it. Madalaire is a very real politic woman. She's malevolent. She would probably have now a grudge against them for it. But we cannot allow Durrani to simply slip through our fingers. To be frank. This is the delegate of BPEC. Greetings. We did try to send you a message, but as you did not respond, we uh, decided instead to expand to the north. You sent us a message at a roleplay? Let me look. Yeah, we sent you a message on Discord. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. It didn't, it didn't show up for me for some reason. Fuck. No worry. Uh, though we will let you know now that the nation of Necliff's army has been wiped out by yours truly. As such, you are free to expand to the south. That is wonderful, but at this time, we, we do not feel that expansion without my son returned is acceptable. We will be getting potentially involved in a war of Durrani. Uh, we, we, uh, I was approached by delegates from Salorn and the Great Ording to fight a war of Durrani, but it appears that my requests for such a war were too high, and as such, we were cut out. Given that they are now losing this war, we are going to enter and just simply take what we wish. I see. Well, in that case... Uh... Just let you know, the offer to join the current war against Yulair and Necliffe is open to you, but we understand if you want to wait. Uh, you would wish to, to uh, invite us in so that we could take Necliffe. If you're interested. Uh, I'm currently at war with him. His army has been slain. Uh, I'm sieging down Yulair as we speak. That is an opportunity we cannot let up pass, and we would agree to such a term. We will wait for a war of Durrani then. Yes, do be advised. Uh, taking Necliffe land will come at a great cost. Uh, as some might see as an, as an aggressor, as we do not have a proper claim against Necliffe. I suppose, but at the same time, we are owed a favor by the Emperor, and I have already spoken to him and others about the possibility of securing Necliffe. I have a promise from Lothain himself that he will look the other way in the event of us being aggressive towards that region. Yes. Out of character, you will have a lot of aggressive expansion. I, I figured, but that's fine. I won't annex the whole thing either. Probably just a little bit of yeah. it. Yeah. In that case, I will call you in uh, now, if you are ready. Yep, go ahead. All right. His army is already slain. Our uh, troops I are walking across the border, and we'll siege them out. And also, I propose, yeah. we will not forget this. You have done us a great service by allowing us to enter this war and uh, get opportunity out of this situation. It speaks much for your desire for our two peoples and our two countries to work together. And if my son is returned, I will make sure that he knows of the deeds you have rendered our family. Of course. There is also another, uh, I, I would approach that we have a communal war uh, room here. Uh, for for the remainder of the war, war, we could absolutely agree to those terms. Yes. They have a very large navy currently built up. Are you able to give me assistance with that? Um, probably. Uh, I have uh, I'm going right for ships it. ready. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll try and go I engage just off my coach line in the dame right now. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm running around okay. the clips, uh, the other fleet then. It is going to be a little bit brutal. We'll probably win it. So I have a... Uh, there we, there go. we go. Let's go ahead and take out their fleet on your coastline as well. Yes, moving, moving. I'll have my two uh, ships come and join as well. Not a problem. Ah, yes. Our navies we are more than a match for them. Forms. We have been very blessed. We are very blessed. Oh, that's two. That's... Oh, oh boy. All the power points. Ah, so good. A great victory. The admirals of BPEC and Metalair are indeed very strong. Oh, and another navy. There are so many. 
How much? Yeah, I'll come help. Be advised, there's an army of 5k coming down towards you. I can see but it. I'm certain uh, the rain. The fort in the north, uh, alongside the Ruby Past, will be able to hold them. I do not worry about that. Excellent. We will ravage the lands in the south in the meanwhile. I'm going to return my navy to port and repair it. They have a contingent of 13,000 up in the uh, the northern part of Netcliffe as well. Indeed. Well, I'm taking a substantial amount of sloan now to build uh, trade centers. Uh, marketplaces, that is. That is. Out of role play, you're not do going too meta with that, right? Uh, no, it's part of my mission tree. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Let's make sure. I, I have to... Because I, I know, I know one of the meta place. things with EU4 is just taking a fuck ton of loans and then just building stuff and that kind of thing, but now nah, you're fine. I, I don't know. It's, uh... I, I don't have to take loans. Uh, so your your, your focus tree explicit or your mission tree, rather, explicitly gives you loans? Uh, no, uh, my mission tree says I need to have marketplaces to continue it. Oh, uh, I got you, yeah. I could probably wait. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm coming down with the rest of my army now towards you, just in case. Very well. We, we have everything under the control here. There is that 5,000, but uh, they will be held back by the fort in Modgate, and they will not be able to siege it out. I'm going to break their capital in Netcliffe, and then at that point, we will be able to do whatever we like. Awesome. Out of roleplay, it seems Great Ording and Saloran are not faring well against Durrani. <laughs> Luckily not. We'll see if we get a oh, an envoy. I believe I am the biggest nation in the world, first to reach Admin Technology 4 and really? Diplotech 4. Nice. We have made great uh, technological leaps. Of course! Your people are an ingenious one. I am not surprised. Especially when the, there's great profits to be made. Yes, uh, Lair's final army is up here in the north. Oh, I see. I'm currently sieging down Ashenade. That's interesting. Through my trade Are you league. Sieging I, I've, I've full sieged Ashenade. Oh, because that's Verani did? Uh, Whoa. Yeah, my, my small uh, yep. trade league members, they all united wow. to kill him. I can see that. That's wild. I feel sorry for it, but yeah. I told him I would not intervene. He was free to do as he wanted, but... Oh, well. well time for me to start saving money so I can pay your uh, pay your rates for the sell. And you also get... Uh... Oh, no, no, you haven't actually helped me against XX yet. Yeah, this is just a bonus. <laughs> no? We can do that war straight afterwards, if you'd be so interested. Oh, I, I'd definitely say not. You, We want to space these wars out for the roleplay, man. Oh yeah, certainly. War, war after war after war, we'll just kill roleplay, and then we'll all just be blobbed, and then it'll be boring. So that is very true. I'll wait Other players we'll will do that. Oh man, Great Ording's completely sieged out. Yeah, he's dead. All he needed to do was ask for our help, and that would have gone a very different way. But he yeah. wanted he wanted the whole pie, not a slice. <laughs> the Wine Lords are certainly known for their excess, and it just seems that uh, even Great Ording is not spared. Indeed. Both in drink and in uh, potential conquest, I see. Indeed. They did get a... Yular did get a big army through. I should be able to deal with it. Oh, yes. I'll uh, send my troops down just in case. To be, uh, uh, I'll handle it. Alright, I'll stay back then. My new uh, my new general, Kasten Gairia. He has had no chance to prove himself, and I need to know if he will be capable enough in the wars to come. Mm. A good idea. Perfect. We've engaged the remnants of their navy off of the Neckcliffe uh, coastline. I oh, should be I'm able to handle it, but just in case. Overwhelming numbers in. are always preferable. Indeed, I'm moving in with uh, my newest fleet admiral. Robin Stormfoot. Wonderful. The most skilled maneuver. Uh, either, either they have no admiral or we've already killed him. They, they seem to be routing. A great naval victory. Wonderful. Indeed, indeed. Your navy is huge now. You captured all their ships. Oh my gosh, yeah, 21. Be advised, the battle is being uh, raged. Yes, you got this. 
They have a much, much better general. Adrian Necropolis. <laughs> That's the name right there. Adrian Necropolis. Eden dude. Good. Kessengaria has proven himself. Well, at this point, you are. Uh, should I piece out Neckcliff on your behalf? Um. Yeah. Just take the top two. That's it. Leave the bottom half. The top two. Yeah. Uh, should we take Frank some money as well? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Just like in terms yeah. of land, the top, and then whatever else you want to take from the. Yes, people. and they will have to break their relationship with Laurent, as uh, that is not fitting. No, it is not. That player is going to be back at the halftime, but still. Well, we we at least uh, disallow them uh, his friendship. Indeed. A wolf fought I war, will. and a very, very, very benefiting one. Indeed, indeed. I will return to the court of Madelaire and let the queen, uh, the Marquise, I keep saying queen, the Marquise Regent know of our successes here today. And it will not be forgotten. Yes, I wish you well. Do take care. You as well. And we, of course, we will honor our deal of ex but given time, of course. That is, uh, well to hear. Bye-bye. Let me just find the channel I'm going to. One second. There they are. Greetings. Oh God, hey, hey West, great Westum. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is an ambassador things. from the Marquis Regent of Madelaire. I could see that you did not heed our offer and instead went into a foolhardy war. I know it's such a foolish thing. He's like, oh, but we can take them with our combined might. <laughs> Do you have here. any troops left at all? Yeah, I'm making my army again. Him, I'm afraid I'm going probably going to have to cut connections with the house. Oh, it is such a shame, such a shame. For he did not have any patience to carry him through. Not at all. We had only just uh, left, uh, my, my fellow ambassador had only just left your hall when you declared that war. <laughs> I know, I know. He believed that time to strike was now. I can okay. see that. Clearly it was not. <laughs> truly, truly. Uh. I would say that we would be willing to intervene, but um, oh, thank God. Give, given the current circumstance, I am unsure. A new circumstance has just risen, actually, which is quite funny to me. Which is? Wex has intervened. All right, Wex intervened? This is now just funny. On whose side? I, on our side. I don't know how or why. Um, This is quite an interesting shock. Um... In that case, oh, yeah. uh, I, know, I think right? I would be fully within my right to offer you the aid of the Marquise Regent, if you would like it. <laughs> I don't. Um, I mean, I believe we can handle it now. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure. Well, let me put it this way. The Queen Regent can either help you, or she can start a separate war with Durrani. That's true. That's very true. You'll have to speak to the war leader, though. I, I didn't declare this war. I didn't want to. Uh, he's led the way, apparently. Very well. So speak to the Enbenic Lord, I know, I know. Just, I'm getting He's speaking with the Emperor the right now. I'll leave them to that separately. <laughs> get dragged, man. This is out of character, but oh boy. Are you character acting <laughs> with, with actual life? Not for, for right now, I've gone off character. I just, oh my god, what a nightmare, dude. Such foolish moves. Is the Imperial call? Yes. Bye. Greetings. I am the ambassador in Wex from the court of the Marquise region of Madelaire. Um, we wish to understand the current circumstance with Durrani. Durrani. The one you are currently at war with, yes. We were approached about entering into this war I and were never a, given a reply. A, a, a previous deal was made with the Great Ording where he would support the Empire and he would join it if... Uh, um, and you did not communicate this with my team. with my leash beforehand. It it was made through many uh, downward decisions. I understand you know, that, but I, you have completely I, cut out Madelaire and West Ham from these discussions, given our relevance in the issue. There was there was not much time to uh, to, to decide this matter, and um, please do excuse me. I I am currently calling in for the the counts to um the for the electors to join. Ooh, okay. We're going to war. We're going to call and be pick if we can too. Let's go talk with him. Mm -hmm. 
The legitimacy of such a contest would, would only really be uh, fulfilled if it was hosted by uh, the great bards of Sanathil. You know, nobody can trust the pirates. Alright, we're not going to bug them. I think we have the armies for it. So we got completely cut out of this situation, which would be very offensive to us. So as a result, we are going to fight a separate war of Durrani because we're getting outmaneuvered in the, in the lowlands right now. They're going to try and basically split up Durrani and cut us out. So we are going to enter this war separately. Yeah, they're trying to cuck us right now, and we're not going to let that happen. So the uh, the Marquis Regent, Madalaire, is going to declare a separate war and get involved. We'll bring our navy around as well. We'll assist our allies where needed, and we're going to siege out Durrani and get the upper hand in the peace deal. This may create a bit of a problem, but we'll see. Let's finish off their navy. Our navy's gotten very, very strong from these recent wars. We could probably even take them on. I, I'm a little bit worried about that, but... Let's heal up our navy, and then I'm going to send it around on the coast. As soon as they siege that out, we are going to be able to... Kill the remaining navy. We want to basically try and make ourselves... One of the things I want to do with West Dam in this game is make the Western, uh, basically, shield of the Empire to be a naval power. So we're going to go really heavy navally. Go switch to my phone so I can see the rest while watching. Sounds good. This game is just going to go, I guess, really quickly from the start. I thought we'd have more time before people started doing these wars, but I guess not. I'll write a little statement about this, too. Um, we got some time. We're sieging. Let's see. The, uh, what's the name of the trail? What would this be? The opportunity lost. Oops, that's, that's not right. Opportunity lost. Given the recent actions of the Great Ording and the active attempt to cut out the Marquis Regent Reina II from the ensuing war against our enemies in Durrani, we will be taking matters into our own hands. It is unfortunate. Compromise was avoided and cooperation discarded. I'm hoping things will cool down here after a bit because I don't really want to do this like constant wars in the beginning. I should have expected this to happen though. All right, we're gonna see if we can cut out some of their navy here. This is a little bit risky, but we're gonna go for it. We have no friendly ports over here until we get a port in the coastline, so we'll see. If we can blockade them though, we'll put a lot of pressure on Durrani to peace out of the war. Siege will be over soon. Yep, they have only a tiny navy left. Good. Wex is already blockading them, but we'll we'll get in on this as well. They still have to fight their way for the Great Ordering. We haven't given them military access, so we have the opportunity here to essentially siege out all of Durrani and take advantage of the situation. Optimally, I would have just liked to have cooperated with these other uh, wine lords. I mean, Madelaire is a real politic woman. She's very political, but she understands cooperation is needed, especially given how all the other wine lords hate us. We basically were the first to go fight with Lorne against all these guys, so they don't like us much to begin with. We'll see how this goes. Durrani, Pearl's Edge, and Revere all descended kingdoms from Garudian raiders, which are basically Vikings, who raided them and set down roots during the Age of the Black Ice. It's shown as their re reason in the mission trees, and they have interesting stuff. Yeah, they're all really interesting countries. 
They're all raiders. They're all our rivals, too. We're not. We're, we're not descended from the same, like, raider people, so... We have big cultural differences and strategic differences. Yeah, they're all from they're all from way up here. Turn the music up a bit too. The remnants of their fleet is in Westport currently. We're about to break through as soon as we can siege out this fort here. Alright, Lawrence has been over there for five years now. We are getting a bit sieged out over here, but it's fine. We are taking some pretty heavy attrition here. I'm going to bring the fleet back. This is a good time for us to go speak with Grand Ording. Greetings. Hey. This is an ambassador from the Marquise Regent of Madalaire. I can see that you refused our previous request and went ahead and fought a war yourself. Well, only due to the insistence that uh, Lens, uh, a historically Laurentish uh, core, would remain in the hands of West Dam in perpetuity. Indeed. But you do know that we have already spoken with Killian Silorial and had his guidance and agreement for such a proposal. Uh, well, uh... No, are you, not, you not, no real easy way to say. I was not aware of the deal. Indeed. This has uh, already been agreed You're upon sick. with Laurent. I'm gonna have to report you back. But I suppose we did not have enough time to speak and this was never properly conveyed. Regardless, I will make this clear that we will not hold anger against you. We will take what we wished in the beginning, but we will not attempt to stop you from taking lands that I am sure uh, you see as yours by right. I hope, and the region of Madalaire also hopes, that in the future we can cooperate and we will not need to make separate deals and separate wars like this in order to secure a cooperative Stance with one another. One can help. One can. Perhaps this will be a lesson that cooperation is better than quick action. But regardless, know that we hold no ill intent and we wish you the best. It's good to converse with such an honorable person. An honorable house, I must say. I, I am but a, a humble ambassador. I speak for the most honorable uh, Marquise... In all of uh, the 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 one the empire, uh, yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed, <laughs> she is a great woman, and her son, who we have heard rumor is still alive, I'm sure will also be the same. Ah, it's I good know. to see that you have gotten your your holdings back. I know. All right. In the interest of further cooperation, I will offer my hand to wisdom. Oh. And further bind it with. I mean no marriage. offense, but we have not agreed to anything like that. That would involve a much longer conversation. We are simply speaking about goodwill after a lack of cooperation, not about alliances. Those are a very different matter. That is a very big point there. I'm not- I- this is not an insult to you or your family. It is simply the fact that we have not spoken nearly enough to agree on such a thing. His words are ringing pretty true. So... Fair enough. Very well. I will leave you be. When this war is done, let us find the time to speak with one another and speak properly with my Marquise Regent. She would wish to speak with you and your family. Is this agreeable? Yes. Very well. Thank you. All right. Well, no, well, no, we're not fighting Lauren Condor. What's up, Condor? Thank you for the sub. Some quality-ish content. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, they basically tried to fuck us and uh, we, we, we didn't let that happen.
She is infertile and malevolent. Lovely woman. Oh, Lauren entered the war. No? Maybe Condor Thierry? That's weird. I'm not sure how Lauren got into this whole situation, but I guess they have. We're gonna get the drums for it to Madelaire, and then Lysinsk we'll take for ourselves. But we did want this. So we need to speak with the Emperor about this, I guess. We've engaged their fleet. Oh, fuck. They have heavies. We're not going to win this, are we? Maybe? No, we're not going to win this. Again, their morale's dead. This is really dangerous. Their morale's almost gone, but so is ours. We have to retreat. I think. No, we took down one of their heavies. Yeah, we're going to retreat. We lost two galleys and five uh, transport ships there. That's really unfortunate. I didn't realize they had heavy ships. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Damn. Oh, yeah. It'll be slow, Condor, but this is a roleplay game. I like playing as a sea elf and ignoring the humans who just beep with the monsters in Holland. Yeah, that's fair. We've got a very xenophobic veneal, very much in, in theme, in culture. Let me go make sure I'm not missing any messages here. Occupied by Salorn. That will be a big issue. We'll need to rebuild the fleet after this. How many ships can we actually have up to here? Oh, nice. We got a stability. Good. We're going to have up to 19. I think I'll probably build a Carrick after this war as well. We'll definitely need it navally. Because we can't compete with navies to have heavy ships when we have none. It's just not possible. Mechanically. I mean, if we caught them on like a certain area, I suppose, with enough galleys, it's doable. But easier said than done. When this war is done, I also want to write out a post about uh, Lauren Silmuna coming back as well. Oh, they're also in the war. These guys are also in the war. I didn't realize that. Ooh, that makes this a lot more complicated in terms of what we want in the peace deal. <coughs> We have to be careful of ag aggressive expansion, but we also c have to be careful here. Because, like, there are a lot of players around here, and they're all going to want land. So we, we got to be careful with making sure we secure what we want. Yeah, there is a Laurent player. He didn't show up at the start. He's joining at the rehost that we're going to do in half an hour. All right, we're going to siege out this. We'll siege out this. I, wa I want total siege. We're going to take money for sure. We'll take anything we can get out of this war. I 
I get the feeling the Great Ording is very hostile to us. I get the feeling that Saloran is very neutral to us. We are a very close with Lauren in the roleplay already. We're cooperating heavily. Uh, Lauren Silmuna was a ward of Killian Solorial until he got kidnapped by the Sons of Demaria. So... This is an interesting situation here. Books. He's actually putting out newspapers and he's selling them in the game. The BPEC player is on a he's like in real life writing newspapers for this game and then he's selling them for in-game gold. So we're gonna have to buy a copy of the, the newspaper so we can read it here in a minute. That's funny. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a copy right now so I can show you guys. Uh, let me see. Where's BPEC? Your file explorer crash. That's not good. Yep, exactly. Godwin's more like a combination of like Russia and England. They're they're a little England isn't exactly the best for them. Let's see if we got Alright, we cool. We got it. I'll show you guys the newspaper that just got printed. The Renaissance is here. <laughs> he photoshopped fucking elf ears on the Mona Lisa. The Renaissance has sprung forth in Aranmas. Since the arrival in the 11th century, the enigmatic elves and their half-elven progeny have led the world in the patronizing, patronizing arts and scholars willing to explore the ancient elven and Demerian societies at their fourth hours. More recently, the wealthy and powerful of the Empire of Ambedar have been patronized... Pat patronizing and i can't speak artists and scholars willing to explore the old demarian and castanorian societies of their forefathers as a cultural movement the renaissance already encompasses most of the region and has a profound impact on literature art philosophy and music enlightened scholars are also analyzing the society in which they live comparing it to the ideals of classical philosophers renaissance humanism has grown into a more mature movement ready to permeate all aspects of society cool and then there's a little song song from the latest talent from the institute of song and saint thil which is like the bard's guild although they may be little guys, their strengths are not all in their size. Long live dwarfs are never unwise, and gnomes know how to improvise. But everything, everyone knows halflings have the greatest prize when they make the world-class pies. <laughs> well, we got a deal. Apparently the price of these things are 50 GP, so we got them for half price. Perfect. Oh, man, that's funny. What are the rules regarding magic in the roleplay? Don't abuse it and do it for roleplay reasons. That's a simple one. In terms of our estates, uh, we have the clergy, we have the merchant guilds, we have adventurers, and we have magisters. Turn that music down. We don't get any fun ones like the vampires or anything like that. Unfortunately. Our Madalair troops are taking back the regions that the Durrani sieged out, and then they're going to siege out the eastern parts of the only ever participant in this war. What vampires? Yeah, you're right, of course. I know! I'm a crazy person! What am I talking about? No such thing! You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. It's the rumors. There's rumors that there are vampires out there that like to drink blood, and, you know, they, they're really, like, they're, they're really, like, melancholic, and they, they like to say, like, really just you know, philosophical concepts that are really lame. You know, I, I, that's what I've heard, but it, it could be possible that's not true. Well, listen, the Marquise Regent, Reina II, she's, she's 50. She's been around a lot. She, she knows that they might not just be rumors. You never know. You never know what those damn Easterners get up to over there. All, all manners of, of weird debauchery and strange magic. You know, if the Magisterium did a better job of constraining silly and dangerous magics like this we wouldn't have to deal with this issue that's all i'm saying so i guess i guess my point is does the magisterium really need to control this much land that's that's the point i'm getting to i suppose 
So it's a good question, given that uh, they clearly aren't using it for anything useful. Yeah. The vampires are primarily in Corvuria, which is here, and then Ashinande, which is here. So that's where the vamp that's where the vampires would be if they're real. Theoretically, you never know. We're also completely cucking everyone by waiting to siege, but that's their fault for not including us in this war. We are probably making some pretty major enemies in this current conflict, but you know. To be fair, we couldn't allow them to just get away with this. Yeah, there are tiger people. There, there are there are cat people down here. There are gnolls over here. There are tiger people way over here. All the orcs are up here. You got the kobolds up here. Nimsgod already took it. My god. I guess we are going to have a bit of a, a map painting race in the beginning. I hope that calms down. Yep. El Elntar is where the elves came from. There's still elves there. A lot of them are corrupted, and they've been changed by, like, the magic of the, the magic nuke that may or may not have been let off there. Yeah, and then there's the centaurs way out here. Aren't there a bunch of, like, gnome holdings somewhere up here, too? And then there's the hobgoblins way out there as well. Those guys are scary. They are fucking strong. Can we call a diet? No, we don't we don't get that feature. Interesting. The Dwarven Mountains. Oh yes, of course. How could I forget the dwarves? There's the Silver Forge dwarves, and then there's the dwarves and the serpent spine, which are all over here. They just basically hide in mountains. As as dwarves tend to. This war has proven to be very beneficial to us, though. As we are gonna basically get our pick of the of the peace deal here. Let me let me see what we can take without just like getting everyone to hate us. I can't take any territory. You know why? I went in with a humiliation cast this bill. Like, god fucking damn it. What about in a side war? Nope, I can't take any land at all. I'm going to talk to him about a role play about that. Hopefully they don't just screw me on that completely. All right, back down you go. Yo, uh, really quick, out of, out of role play, uh, I completely forgot in EU4 that you can't take territory in a superior Castus Belly war. Um, so I can't take any territory. Out of role play... Yep. This is a major war, and realistically, I could take that land. So, if I just, like, tell what I would take, can you guys just not take it in your peace deal? I can take it for you and give it to you. That'd be fine, too. Well, well actually, I'm, I'm not the war leader. Ent Entfin, what do you what do you got? Ugh, jeez. You, you know, a part of me damage. says that, like, yeah, all right, I'll honor that. But on the other hand, I, I, I want to be a bastion of Lodorentis culture. So, if we agree to the initial de to my initial thing that, like, you can keep it until you have a strong colonial presence? Nope. It, it is a permanent situation. Well, why? You don't need it that badly, do you? Yep. Uh, the, the the way I'm role-playing the regent is that she's, like, uh, wanting, like, her son's future West Ham uh, kingdom to become, or, sorry, duchy, to become a naval one, so she wants a western coastal area. But once you have the, once you have a colonial base, it doesn't make any difference. But, but that's it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a role play game. Yeah. It's important for yeah. role play. Okay, so, yeah. sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't it's not a mechanical that. thing. This is a role play like goal yeah. for for the region before yeah. she dies. Okay, fine, fine. It, we will we'll visit this. Uh, we'll visit this at another point. At, m most likely, as uh, our cyber has increased, but we will. But you will have the provinces. All right. And I, will uh, I, I would say Laurent will also be able to join. I mean, do a separate war with you once more after this. But I, I think exchange, our, yeah, I want some help. I want some help with, with the rest of the rain because uh, you know I'm going to get AE from taking those problems for you. Yeah. All right, I'm in the war then. What's that?
Okay, okay. Uh, so, so which territories did you want, Reyna? Uh, they want. Uh, so Durham we we were taking and... uh, the Durham's Fort, Linsk, and then uh, what's it called, Castile, Castile, Castile. Just, well, just well, three. I, I already agreed to give those to Saloran, so. Those were part of my demands. Well, all right. Well, Castile is going to. All right. So, so Lauren is getting Castile because they want to give it to Lorraine in exchange for Wineport. But you can still have the rain and Lensk. Hold on. Uh, yeah, ho oh, oh the AI annex Florent. Fuck. That was a player, wasn't it? Yes. Did he just get completely he screwed? Come. Oh, he he didn't show up then. Good. Yeah, that's what that's, that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Lorraine. Kill Wineport, yeah. Or did Laurent AI? Yeah, Laurent AI like, killed uh... it. So we're trying, we're trying to salvage that. But you can still get, you're still getting two provinces, including your west, western Ca coast. Castile was part of the agreement I, I suggested with you guys, and it's also what I uh, spoke with Laurent about in the past, which we already had agreed to. Yeah, the west coast. And Castile, we talked about that. I don't know how to say the province, but. The port. I think I think that those two provinces I I still claimed, but I I mean the uh, the central provinces in uh, Delaire. What's it called? I need to. Well, do you want to exchange them for another port in Durani then? Because we did discuss a deal about that. Uh, oh, you said Cast Cast Hill. Uh... Look at my stream up if you need to see. I think. Oh no, I don't. Here. You can look through the stream, Laurent, so you get an idea. That's it. Uh... That way we're not blind here. Yeah. So here's Castile, and here's Anima. Yeah. Uh, also, I would four. suggest that we also do roleplay this instead of out of roleplay it, because yes. we're, we're going we're gonna to get into that mindset, and then that will never come back. So just heads up. This is rough. Um, um, the king of Laurent has... Uh, has still demands for the partitioning of Binet to Tay. When last my Marquis no. Regent spoke with the King of Laurent, we were under the impression that we had rights to Castile. Mm. Another province? Yes, yes. Um, Perhaps you would be it, willing it, to exchange it for something with us instead, so if you would like that strategically. Yes. I would... Uh, I think the, the, the King has... has uh, great interest in Westport as well. But, um... Lord, how about we offer perhaps the province of Hollowview in Durham, the area. It is one of your provinces, but yes. that way I believe it is of relatively lower quality of Castile, that is true, but it is on the west coast as mentioned. We would, we would agree to take the, uh, the Durham's Fort, Linsk, and then Hollowview. We would agree to that, those three. If you would keep Castile then. Does this sound good to you, my lord? Um, <clears throat> I, I I not think uh, the king would like to give his already owned provinces away. Although um, Castile is a very important province as well. It would be a minor loss. You can't always simply break our agreement, but that would be a bad sentiment to express to an ally yes. that has already lost so much for you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> My lord, it is best to keep amicable relations. No, well, well um, the, the, the agreement is that, that uh, Castile will be to, to West Ham, uh, but it, I, the, the, the king would still would like, the, the king would still claim uh, Clare's Halls and Westport for himself, in addition to what? The Northern Durrani region is of no interest to us, so we don't see an issue with this. Right then, I suppose. I believe the deal has been finalized. We have an agreement. Is there any objections? Yes, we do. Very well. I will return to my regent and uh, make her aware of this situation. When you have uh, time in the future as well, we would also like to have a meeting with Killian Solorial in private. But when, when you have the time for it. interject here, I will still take the province to give to you for free. Just to clarify, is that... All right with you, my lord. Who are you speaking to? So, uh, to Kill. your west. 
as since Castile will be transferred to you, it is best to do it now compared to after a truce, per se. That's agreeable. All right. Um, is there anything else, my lord Loren, that you have concerns about? Uh, how much will be transferred as of this peace deal? As this peace deal? Oh, you'll have to ask Entven. He's the controller of that, actually. Are you in the game yet? You're not, are you? He's I'm not in the game. He's not. The, he's waiting until the 12 o'clock, right? Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing the rehosting thing in 20 minutes. I understand. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so just okay. I Man, it's hard to stay in character with this a weirdly mechanical game like EU4. Oh, uh, you know. So, um, uh, the the Entbenic Lord is the deal all right with you? Uh, all right. I would I would request that I hold let that I hold some of the western western coast for just a a little bit. But uh, you know what? I can I can go I can go without for, for a while. Fine, yes, it, the deal is fine. I'll take it. We'll take we'll take the southern part of West Ording, Derensfort, and Lensk. The layer two being given to Westdam, uh, and, Kest and West Castile Port. and and, Sol be and Soloran will be given to uh, Soloran for now. And Westport. Wait, wait how am I going to give Westport to Loren? Well, Westport might be... Lauren will probably fight a separate later. war for that, I would imagine. Yeah. This will be a separate yeah. affair. This is merely for the current time. We don't have to right. deal with the Duran immediately. Okay. Just want to make sure I was... I was... I was on the, on the ball. I must say, though, Loren, I would have thought giving away the hollow view would be a better idea than Castile. But as you say... Uh, that, is, that is true. If, uh... We already have terms. Yes. The terms have already been struck. It is a little late right. to go back on that now. Yes, it is. All right. Is there anything else, or may I return to my regent and tell her of this conference and our agreement? The of course. Is concluded. Very well. I was also told, assuming negotiations go well, to invite a formal invitation to Duke Creston the Fourth to meet with the Marquis Regent and Medellaire at his uh, disposal. Mm. Very well, Thank you then. for your time. All right, negotiations were not short, but we didn't get fucked there, which is what I wanted. We're dealing with rebels currently in the lowlands and the areas that we fought for against Netcliffe. We'll deal with this, and we're going to be in very good shape right now. I am going to start going to and doing some more diplomacy as well, because there's a lot of people we need to talk to. This is a huge game, guys. There's so many people we got to talk to. Rob Penning is a diseased RP games. One person starts and everyone feels threatened and scared and does it. Yes, and that's starting right now, and I am hoping that we can kind of slow that down. So I'm going to try not start a war for a little while until other people do <laughs> it is one of those things that you can't just like not do anything because you'll get fucked so it's the map painting in rp games really is, is is shitty it just causes so much so many problems okay i do want to build a mage tower but that's not a huge priority so we'll work on this building of some more temples. We're offered a lot of gold as well by BPEC when we help them take x -Wiece, but I'm not in a rush for that as well. All right. That was a that was a very quick start to this game. And it, it started off wild and quick, which I didn't expect. I should have, but I didn't. So I'm going to take a moment here before we go and do any Diplo. Just kind of get my get my head straight in terms of the roleplay. Lord Silmoon is 14. He's almost come of age. Uh, in the roleplay, he is currently out with uh, Roger Silmuna in the Sons of Demeria. He chose to go there when he was six years old, and he, but he technically got kidnapped for it. He'll be coming back before long. Uh, I just got a message from that player. The way he wants to do it is basically ransom uh, Lauren Silmuna, which is, is his prerogative. So we're going to have to pay gold to get him back our heir. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. But we have a connection with the other Silmunas now, which is good. I'm going to be role-playing that Lauren Silmuna basically goes the Demarian path, so he's going to not like Laurentish culture, which will create even more issues with the people we just recently had some conflict with, given that he'll go more towards the Demarian side of things rather than the Laurentish, because you get a choice with West Dam when Laurent comes of age, which is that you can choose to follow the more uh, Laurentish side or the Demarian side, and we're going to go with the Demarian side. 
I understand why it's difficult. E4 is a game that's like 90% map painting. It's hard to get out of that headspace. It is. And we've got a lot of new players in this game too. This game is full of players that came from like the Aminar Discord and stuff. So they haven't played in our games before. I, I'm hoping that the GCs have everything handled in that regard. I'm not GCing because I wanted to just play in the game. This is a lot of fun and I wanted to just play in it. So we'll see. Oh man, he put out another newspaper too. <laughs> All right, I got to show this one. There's another newspaper. Where is it? Verna claims king title illegally. Before this all start, the, the Duchy of Varen declared himself a king. He's within the Empire, so he can't really do that. Uh, the dukedom claimed the following in a recent statement. Duke Alvar IV Silverne, now newly King Alvar Silverne, has recently proclaimed the second kingdom of Varen in an act of defiance against the usurper Emperor Lothane Wex III. Citing the history of kings in Varen and their importance to the region and his recent triumph over the kings of Buzlon, he announced his declaration publicly to the city of Varen on the 3rd of Lumsdan, 1445. He also proclaimed his decision was to strengthen his new position as the defender of the south to protect against Nolish raiders. Uh, the Shadow Princess of Nothale said, Arg, this man can keep himself whatever he wants as long as he keeps sending unarmed trading vessels into my waters, Arg. <laughs> uh, then we commented, we said no comment. He asked me about that a while back. Air artist uh, Silkelos said, Ridiculous, the man is worse knight than me. And then the king of uh, Busselar said, Let it be stated in no uncertain terms that Alvar IV of Verna is no king and certainly no defender of the south. The Duke of Varen is not but an impudent usurper. Us usurper who seeks only to bring destruction and stability to both Buslo and the Empire. Yeah, so he, de he declared himself a king, and I guess no one is having that, which is pretty much what I expected. I mean, no one, no one's really respecting him for that. He's still, he's still a duke in everything but name, too. He's a 655. Wow. Not bad. I'm really curious to see what trait we're going to get for Rod, uh, for Lawrence Silmuna as well, because he, he'll get one when he comes of age. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. The newspaper is really awesome. Maru, the guy writing it, is great. He's he's really good with roleplay, so pretty cool. You should make a newspaper update with the failed restoration uh, painting from 10 years ago. <laughs> I know exactly what you're... Uh... They're going to charge us? Fuck My you! That that wasn't part, part of the part. deal. <laughs> I, the deal has gone quite. In, well, he's gonna transfer that. My good lord, I'm ready to transfer Castile to you. Wonderful. Would you like, uh, for free, obviously. Yes. Um, it, let's see here. Just wanted to give you the news of it. Here you are. Castile. I appreciate you honoring your deal, and we will not forget this. I do wish for course, cooperation in in the future, and I do hope that we are able to do so, and that we will not need to make separate. Uh, deals wars and things of that nature as it is more beneficial for us to work together oh i completely agree my lord this it, it would be my lady by the way was... I, I, I am a, i am a woman it should be quite apparent but if it's oh. not I, I i am a woman currently i am the marquise regent I, I assume you mean no disrespect of course of course it is my error it is simply this this foolish war that has I understand it has nerves. nerves rattled, but perhaps in the future, one may use their eyes to notice the, uh, the complexion of the person they are speaking with. I have not got that old, have I? Am I starting to look like a man? Has no one no, told me? No. Has no one told me this? You could never, my lady. <sighs> I take my leave. Very well. Thank you. We will speak soon. Killian Thomas. So, Lauren. He already left. All right, they're trying to fuck us. He's trying to sell us these provinces we were promised for free, which I'm not having. Welcome back. We got the Castell part, but we need the other two provinces, and I'm not paying for them, so. And I'm not going to approach him either. We're going to wait for him to come to us. Uh, we, it would be strategic to have a fort there, but that might piss off Laurent, so I'm going to get rid of it. As a show of cooperation with Laurent. Um, <laughs> that's better. Laurent Silmuna was raised in the High Laurentis culture of Madelaer by his mother, Reina the Second Sil Madelaer. With Laurent's coming of age as the rightful ruler of the Marquisate of Westem in the Duchy of Madelaer, he has a choice. Continue the ways of his upbringing, fully embracing the high culture of his Laurentish neighbors, or return to his Damarian ancestors. Where are you going to go for Damarian? We have spent 
the latter part of our childhood fighting an S-Can with Roger Silmuna in the roleplay. He's a player as well. So when we come back, we would be very much more on the Silmuna Demarian side rather than Laurent. So I'm going to write out a statement about this, which is that he just basically reappeared. And I would pay him what he wanted, but I literally can't interact with him or see him, so I can't do that. All right. Now you're going to watch me write out a statement, poor, poorly worded as usual. It's been a lot of posts in here, goddamn. The return of the return of Lawrence Silmuna. It has been almost 10 years since Lawrence Silmuna was kidnapped by unknown actors right out of the palace of Killian Solorio. This was a great tragedy and cause for further aggression between Lawrence and Gawad. However, as he came comes of age and is able to inherit the titles of his family. A ship appeared in West End, carrying a much older, but clearly, Lawrence, take it, nah, that doesn't make sense, carrying a much older Heir to West End. To the, what is it called, the Mark? Marquisate. Rumor has it that he was seen oh. in Eskin fighting alongside his relative Roger Silmuna, though they were. Never confirmed. After traveling to meet with his mother, the regent, it was formally announced that the heir has returned. As soon as he gained the full power of his positions, the young Marquise, Marquise, I think, uh, announced that he would permanently move his court back to West Ham and focus on revitalizing the Marian culture, court standards, and Alliances. This is a dramatic change for the Shield of the West. Let me find a picture real quick. No. Bear with me. Also, is there someone there? Uh, yes. My, uh, I just want to let you know that you need a firmer claim on. Uh, Derm's for before you can or I can sell you Lensk. Ah, gotcha. Um, let me take a look. Oh, we're doing the rehouse, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that sounds good. You can't sell it to West Ham at all. No, I can't. You you literally you need you need a core first. Gotcha. It's a little weird, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even. Know. I might have to just give it to Metal Air. We'll see how this goes. I'll figure it out when we get back in game. Okay, that would make some sense at least. All right. Also, uh, what, what was that about uh, all that gold? I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never played multiplayer before. Oh, okay, yeah, you're fine. Like, normally gold isn't much of an issue if you're, if you're playing single player. Oh, it is a multiplayer. You can do a lot with it, especially in a roleplay game. Yeah, exactly. Like, bar, uh, bu like buy the, the latest copy of the uh, Ambedar Times, for example, you know? I'm 
I'm actually writing it. Or oh, part of writing it. Are you one of the writers for the Times? Yes. Oh, nice. I've written a great article about the web that you should see sometime soon. <laughs> Only good things about them, I'm sure. Do you want a preview? Sure. Okay, hold on a second. Did I misspell no, something, Commander? Here you go. Sneak preview. Oh my! Well, that's very prolific. <laughs> oh. Not a fan of Galwood, I see. It's supposed to be a smear piece in the universe. I mean, you're suggesting he's fucking a horse, so I, I would I would assume so. And his cousins. Like, and his own country. <laughs> No, that's 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 a solid smear piece on on Galwood. I'll give you that. Like I'm trying to think of something like, all right, what's something right someone write in universe that someone would put in a paper? I got it. And Galwood is just like an easy target. <laughs> I mean, it's not hard to insult Galwood. I mean, their very existence is an insult to the universe. One might even say, you know. Their the impact on the social political scene makes me. Truly wish that the day of action skies obliterate all life on Halan. Exactly. I mean, it just makes you not want to live when you think about that you have to share your existence with, like, Godwood, you know? So I, I understand yeah, that's where why, you're that's coming why I'm from. That's going to be paper with ads to, to fuck them over. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's fair. All right. Also, out of roleplay, I, I, I will suggest this to you and other people. Uh, wars in the early part of the game, fine. Don't make, uh, like, a. I, I would really suggest, it's not a requirement, but don't just, like, go war, 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 war. Just give time for roleplay and stuff like that. You will enjoy, or enjoy the no, game more. I know, yeah, I okay. know. Just make it sure. Like, you you kind of got it early on as West Ording, otherwise you get smushed. I get that. I just want to throw that out there. And I screwed up early because, like, I forgot you need a tw you need like twenty ducats for for a event. Yeah. Uh, that will give you extra two horsemen and a bunch of military power. Uh, and I and I forgot about that, so I got. That steamrolled early on was when I need to call the Emperor. Yeah, I, I saw I saw you completely lose. I was just like, yeah, well, you could have had West Dam and uh, Metalera, but you you chose not to, so. Oh, anyway, it worked out the same anyway. In the it end. did, yep. Same result. No, oh, no, no, no hard feelings. It's just like, I no. But like, do I you want to do actual role play? Because uh, Lauren Silmoon Sil Sil is back and would definitely want to talk to you soon. I don't know All if you right, saw yeah, if you exactly. saw the statement, but he's back from the east, and uh, he's a very grizzled oh. warrior. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you narrate it. So yeah. Narrated it. Oh yeah, you were like typing, and I and you were talking, so I didn't want to. Interrupt oh yeah, yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But uh, do you want to do it now, or do you want to wait until after the rehost? All right. So, Duke Crufton himself is a accomplished warrior with a military skill of six and several design traits. This, uh, uh, like explain that reputation in universe. Yes. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, this is the delegation from BFAC. Would we be allowed to be in this room until the? Welcome. Uh... You are you are you are you are welcome to uh, be in my court in West Dam. Greetings. I am Lauren Silmuna. Recently returned from my travels in the East with my family. Fuck. I fucked something up. There we go. Um. It is good to meet you. Are you <laughs> one of the many sons of I assume the? Uh, what's his title name? Uh, I'm. Afraid, uh, our dear ruler, uh, former, uh, has died, and it is he has Raven, died. Ravenlocks that has taken over charge. I'm his uh, cousin. It is clearly a sign of favoritism to have your own sons as uh, uh, Of course, that I would understand. Not make sense whatsoever. You will forgive me. I have been away for a long period of time, and I am only getting reacquainted with the recent politics. My mother has done her best to fill me in on the situation, but it will take me time. I, I meant no offense. Well, what we do. No, no fans taken. What we have heard of you has, uh, has been great. The, only from when you were six year old, you seem to have a greater grasp of, uh, of politics than uh, most. A necessary thing in understand. lands like this, would you not agree? I, I, I suppose there's uh, quite a lot to be done about it. And the I, Empire I see... is a far too political place, I am afraid, but one that we must learn to work within. Laughing nods as he asks. Uh, and, and the other uh, esteemed guest, I'm familiar, I'm not. Uh, I'm not My apologies. Familiar. This is the Lord Duke Crispin the Fourth. Yes, of, of a great ordning. 
A great man, uh, and one that I was uh, about to gain the acquaintance of. I have heard that there's been a lot of goings-on politically in the region when I was away. But uh, he is a man of good company. Would you uh, like I, some wine as well? I have a fine Madelaire white vintage that uh, I have been enjoying since getting back. Would you like to uh, have a glass? I don't know if you drink. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid not. It's t too strong for me. I'm only, only beer and the likes. Uh, we we, we, we can get you beer if you would like, like as well. We, we have that here, of course. Really? A beer, a beer uh, for you, uh, Duke. Duke, uh, Duke, would you like to share a glass of wine with me? It is only, it is only in as a good faith that you share share such a fine vintage, of course. Of course, of course, only the good stuff. And then he's gonna wave, and and uh, some servants, butlers, very, uh, they look they look dressed well, but clearly they're not very auspicious. Like West Ham's court is like clearly hasn't been used in a long time. And uh, pour the glass of wine and some beer for you, and we can we can drink. Uh, I, I must ask, he says, after having a sip, a great ordinary. I almost thought you were going to be wiped out there from the reports we were getting. I admit, it was touch and go for a while, but our allies in the Emperor have, pro have proven themselves stalwart in the extreme. But the I Emperor, believe it was a plea. Yes, the Emperor himself decided that more Imperial presence was needed in, in Southern Laurent. So strange. Why, why would he infl try and influence things outside the Empire? You don't think he's trying oh, to create I'll a counter the to <laughs> uh, Sorry, I interrupted there. I thought you were done. Uh, uh, no, but no. Simple. You... I'll be part... I'm I'll used to be... it as a halfling. <laughs> no, no. My apologies. But, but simply put, and you can put this in your papers, Grey Ording will be joining the Empire soon enough. Really? I... You said it would be nice to have other members of the Empire. Just didn't know we allowed all that large members in anymore. You have spoken with Lothane and he has agreed to this? Lothane so wex uh, personally, personally marched several of his armies in, into my lands to help help reclaim them. If if I can strengthen the Empire, I will acquiesce. Very well. I must say I'm surprised by this, but we all are but servants of the Emperor, of course. Well, some of us, I suppose, and some to be very soon. Regarding your reason for visiting, uh, Ambassador from BPEC, I would assume this concerns the agreement my mother made with your previous ruler regarding x is it not? Uh, aye, aye. It's, uh... Since I will, of course, right honor... Thing, so to say. I understand. I will honor all provinces made by the Regent of West Ham and Medellar, and will, of course, march my troops in your aid against x -Wies. I look forward to a military campaign where I am leading such a large army, as I have primarily only fought on foot by myself in the East, with my uh, distant relative there. It will be a good chance to gain some experience in battle leading men, and I look forward to it. Uh, do, you, accomplishment. Do, do you need our troops on the field as well, or would you like to... If you would be so kind, if own. you would allow me to deal with them entirely by myself, and see, uh, you can of course siege the lance, but if you would give me the opportunity to show my ferocity and battle and learn some for myself, I would appreciate it. Uh, we will, of course... Uh, Give up that honor uh, begrudgingly. The halfling uh, lies very, uh, not very convincingly. I, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, he, he clearly knows that you would not mind it, so he's just kind of, you know, <laughs> he's like, okay, fine. We get, we both get what we want. You don't have to fight them. He gets glory. I think I'm gonna roleplay Lawrence as like a glory hound, so we'll see how this goes. So, I feel it makes sense. I like you know. the image you got of him. Yeah. Actually, when I have you both here, there's a matter I want to bring up. Ah, uh, yes. As the three of us are, well, in my case, soon to be subjects of the Empire and in bordering Laurent, I suggest a triarchy of sorts in order to protect a our A triarchy? I, 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 I believe that you are forgetting about another good friend of ours in the region, the Stalorans. Of course, a Lauren. Uh, uh, that goes the, I thought that would go without saying, but I understand they were soon to become a vassal under Laurent, which is probably why I'm bringing this up. I understand, but I think it would be also important of the neighbors of uh, Laurent to make sure that the vassals do not become incorporated into the broader kingdom, such as the Red Glades and the Elves there, of which, uh, as, as a, one of a silver family, I find the interests of the Elves to be very important, and we cannot have their culture lost to that of the Laurentish giant, as well, I, potentially, I, I as Lauren. I should also let you know something. We have uh, recently been back. We have decided to ally with Laurent as to protect our northern flank from Goed, who has been encroaching upon our territory more and more recently. 
I have but, noticed uh, we, that, we, oh, that odious giant. But we have not promised anything to Laurent in terms of uh, uh, fighting down south. If something like that is to break out, we, we, would, we would stay out of such things for sure. We also work closely, uh, I believe my mother at least, the regent, works very closely with Laurentish. And although I do plan to go back to my Demirian roots and stay away from High Laurentish culture, I would also like to cooperate with Killian Solorio, as I was his ward for a time as a child, and I still remember him as a good man. I hope my memories will stay true. Uh, Chris makes a bit of a face, because because uh, he hasn't he has much, much fondness for the Laurentish king at the moment, given that he went back on his word. He did? But he will acquiesce. Well, yeah, he was going to hand over, he was going to make sure West Ording got driven back to Great Ording. Okay, hold on. Let me just take a screenshot of a mission. Uh, go talk oh, to wait. him out of roleplay. Hastings a reasonable guy, so if you just talk to him, I'm sure you can get it figured out. Okay, well, basically, as it is, before the start of the game, there was an agreement that Great Ording would fight for Lorentz during the, the War of the Lilacs. And in return, they the Laurent would help Great Ording uh, regain their lost their lost lands get in their, that they lost during the Duranic the invasion. Laurent did not hold their end of the bargain. That is unfortunate. Yeah, go, he also, to be fair, he also and, didn't join at the start because he was probably sleeping or something, so just go talk to him and see if you can work it out with him. Again, in RP right. games like this, just really keep in mind, like, normalize talking to players out of roleplay to get, like, understandings. It's not like a comp game where, like, if you go talk to them, they'll just, like, scream at you. Like, in RP games, just talk with people out of roleplay, and usually they'll be reasonable. If they're not, go take it to a game controller and get them to help you settle the issue. Oh, well, no, like, I'm talking about this, like, an in-lore thing. Oh, okay. Oh, in-lore. My bad. I'm ignoring that. Okay, sounds good. Do you guys know what we're waiting for, by the way? I think there's a player or two who are still coming. They are holding up the whole game, but it is how it goes sometimes. Visidar, perhaps? I'm not too sure. The only player I can't say in current place like Busilar, so... Yeah, Busilar is not in. That's probably what we're waiting for. Oh, Jesus Christ. There are a lot of other players blubbing really hard. Yeah, they are. I really don't like this. I hope that the oh, GC is getting on this. huge. Or, yeah, Dartax, uh, Nims God, mm. is blubbing as well. Uh... This is exactly what we don't want in our PK games. Fuck. Istralor has... Is probably at the uh, aggressive expansion cap. Moonhaven is almost dead. Didn't Moonhaven start with more than that, or did they really start with that little? I think Vern must have taken something from him. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, as it is, uh, I'm sorry about the kerfuffle with with your with your mother and so, and so forth uh i'm sure it was simply the... a miscommunication and that there was no ill intent from the great order well there was no ill intent yes but in our in our minds Lo uh great order is the bastion of lobarentus culture so you can understand uh, just like how you have concern for the for the red red glades we have concern for our previous countrymen i in, understand in the former but I am sure you will agree that any land under the control of Westham is in good hands. Would you not? That is true. I, do, I not, do not consider us some a, common, common lord who will disrespect your cultures. I will be going back to my Demarian Reeds, but I will promise you this. Any lands I control in the West, I will, of course, respect the local culture. I may not be a man who enjoys the Laurentish societal virtues such as your extreme amount of etiquette and tradition. However, I will respect it and the people who choose to follow it, of course. If you worry about the displacement of cultures, or me forcing my own culture upon them, you have no such worry to, to have. I can promise you this. My, my ancestors so I cannot speak for, but for myself. So anything else we wanted to discuss before we moved on? Probably not. We uh, have nothing. We wish you so, all the uh, And I believe I will be staying here to uh, continue. Uh, indeed, we will need to cooperate in this war, my friend. What was your name, by the way? I, I apologize. You're the, you were the, I think you said the cousin of the current leader. Did I get that wrong? Uh, indeed, I am uh, Ron Ravenlocks. Ravenlocks. And then uh, uh, Lawrence will hold out his hand to shake yours. 
very not formally very casual like he, he doesn't he's got like a noble bearing he's clearly got a lot of pride but like he's not like how many nobles are which are very you know he spent most of his life fighting with mercenaries essentially the halfling steps forwards and uh, grabs one of your fingers, shaking it rigorously. He he lets out a chuckle and, and goes, uh, Womit! Womit! Ravenlocks, Womit. I am sure that this war will be a chance for us to bring our people together and build allies long into the future. The wealth of Beepec is unmatched, and I am sure you will agree the martial prowess of West Ham on both land and sea will be their equal in that regard. We're most uh, amazed by your proficiency at sea. We... I mean, no disrespect, but we did not uh, expect that. Ah, uh, that would be uh, that would be the West Damian Navy. I have not been on a I've been on a ship several times in my life. The first thing I wish to do after taking back my role as Marquis of West Dam is to be trained at the sea. A ruler should know how his army and navy work. And the first thing I intend to do is uh, take several classes in new the uh, the Naval College of New Adia, and then when I'm done with that, get some experience at sea. As much like my mother. I agree that the future of West Ham will be on water. Uh, pardon me, but I meant to, I heard you going to war with Exus, Ex West. Ex West, Ex yes. Sorry. In in order to further prove our good faith to the Empire and to personally apologize for the diplomat kerfuffle, I'd be willing to offer my forces con as Condorati free of charge. That is a very noble offer. However, I would uh, like the honor of defeating their armies myself. If I prove incapable of doing so and my armies lie defeated, we would be happy to call upon your army. And I thank you for such an offer. Well, you, you could simply have us hang off to the side, but as you wish. No, I will fight them alone. The men and women of West Ham will take on the ex army alone. We must prove ourselves capable. I must prove myself capable. I think you've done more than that, but... There can never be enough. There is honor in war. Not in the death of it, but in showing yourself capable. And to be a leader respected after being gone so long, I must earn the respect of both West Ham and Medellar. And I shall do this for proving my martial prowess. Spoken like a true disciple of Adin. Of course. Very well then. Good fortune. And to you. Man, this is a long rehost. Yeah, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Uh, I think we were waiting for Zibex, but then he rejoined. But then someone else left. Now he has rejoined, so now we should be good. Oh, there's a Pearl's Edge player now. Someone switched to them. Lemon Rush? Yep. What's that? That's a new guy. Yeah, he switched over. We made a deal with like a duel for Netcliff, but the game's already gone differently, so it's kind of out the door. What's up, Samurai? Game's going really well, man. You should probably have a talk with the, uh, the player. I'll, yeah, I'll need to go talk with him at a real player. We can do a really quick war, if you want. For a Netcliff? Uh, no, for x do a Oh, yeah. Glorious, yeah. Uh, charge I, don't, the I never want to rush wars. This, I is, stay back and this is an RP game, so we'll see how it goes. Like, just rushing wars, gotta gotta break that habit. Like, it's... I understand oh, no, what you're no, saying, but yeah. Rushing it in terms of uh, a swift victory. I understand, yes, absolutely. I am confident in my ability to inspire the troops to a quick victory over the x Westian army. Do not worry. That is good to hear. Yeah, we did have a war at the start of the game, Samurai. And we lost Saint Pino. Oh boy. We might just hear him gone. Oh fuck. That's why you can't do these long hosts. People will just get bored and leave. Although, I think that he may have all tapped. The game just crashed. Always possible. We might also have a corrupted save uh, host because we've been up for a while now. That's quite potential. I don't have time to write another newspaper article then. <laughs> I'm gonna write a response to uh, a letter I got from uh, Roger Salmuna. My dear Lawrence, I hope you travel back to West End was fine. I'm proud of what you have become, and I know that you are going to be one of the greatest rulers the Canada has ever seen. I will always be there for you. May Castellus and Edian protect you, Roger Salmuna. Does uh, Cavaria send a delegate to the court of uh, West End? No, I was just coming to complain about everyone not being able to sit on their hands two minutes, so they're all causing themselves to crash. Yeah, it's it's because the the if you host an EU four game for a while, it will just start to kick people after a while. I believe it's it's people are clicking on random nations as well, though. While they're well, yeah, there is that. Just cause crashes. <laughs> they're all tapping. 
I am yep, sad. All, all tapping back and forth. We will no longer be able to converse as we did over an ale after a good battle. So, uh, Kururi, are you happy with the uh, article? Oh, it's been great. The time we spent together fighting against the goblins and orcs, which proved invaluable in lessons of warfare learned will always be treasured. As I said the day I left, you always have an invitation to my court in West Dam if ever you find time. We are blood of distant relation. You will always be true family to me. May you always strike true Lawrence Silmuna Marquis of Western. What's up? How are you doing? What's up, Spoons? We're still dropping people. Oh. Yeah, we had a war at the start of the game, but we didn't st we didn't start it. There was the war that we fought where uh, B BPEC started a war immediately, and they had a war with Netcliffe, and they invited us in to take the Northern Region, which was too good to pass up, so we agreed to. And then we were about to get cucked out of a war that the Great Ording player and uh, so Lauren was doing for an area that we wanted, so we did join that one. But, yeah, I want to basically not have a war for a while at this point. Nice, good to hear that. Glad to hear that, man. Apparently Dustin's uh, talking to the whole group right now about not map painting, so it's, that's what I believe is going on. Oh, I've, I've, I've lost 400 gold to gifts around bri bribing people. That much okay. already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm RPing. Well, of course. And I'm like <laughs> I'm funding <laughs> projects <laughs> left and right. It's like a guy who well, guy asked me, I want to upgrade my trade uh, depot to uh, to increase the trade in the Empire. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I've noticed your trade league's massive though. <laughs> Who's in your yeah. trade league? Oh, quite a few. I, I already had to kick five five of them. Uh, what did you do? Are, are any of them players league. or most of them AI? Only, uh, it can only be one province nations. I did okay. offer Ammonkost to become a trade nation. I said I would pay him for him, but he was not interested. No, they, you got some competition with Ammonkost. They wouldn't like that. Yeah, no, but uh, it, it'll probably come down the line. It's, you've got a newspaper going for you, so... Yeah, it's taking a lot of time. <laughs> I'm all tapped more than half the time writing the articles. Uh, yeah, I know. It's it's ideal where I've got someone to pen that stuff. We'll be writing a lot more news articles, so don't you worry. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna. Uh, I don't have the time in the okay. game, so I think like it's in between games. I'm gonna do like my really long posts, and I'm gonna do some about like events to happen that I kind of want to clarify. Kind of think it's like a, I think is how I'll do that because. I don't know about y'all, but there's just so much going on right now, like constantly at the start of the game. There's yeah. had people just rush. Yeah, I it was I was disappointed by that. A handful right. of players as well, like literally within days. It's when you give that freedom. It's like um, even Crack Jesus went straight for um, yep. the, what you call them, the, the sword something, the, the rules on the self. Yeah, it's it was a shame. Wait, who's that? Uh, the pirates. They, they start as that one, that one island. Yeah, and immediately went for them, uh, like day one war. Because it was a double land grab. And it was yeah, Nimscod has already done like... Uh, Nimscod just, wars. oh man, He's yeah. taken 17, he's taken like 15 provinces, while I've taken three. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I would, I'm gonna, gonna suggest oh, to Dustin sorry. that we have a Cobalt Rebellion in the save edit in between games or something, because that is... My god. I don't know. It's like I've expanded all of two tiles. <laughs> yep. I took uh, two from Netcliffe, and then I'm gonna get a couple from the Peace Deal, the Great Ording. But that's because they rushed that war just in so early on for Durrani. You've already taken. I see. I've taken two to the yep. west there. Yep. We'll get. Yeah, so we'll get. Leave, uh, that's a good expansion. Yeah. I just play slow. That's how I've always. I'm, I want to try and stop, and I'm gonna try and discourage people around me from expanding for a little bit too, so we can actually do some RP here instead of just wars. Yep. It's a good. It's a good balance. Starting off now. Uh, do you want to transport your troops inside my nation for the war? Or, I, I uh, plan to attack just straight from my own borders. 
Yeah, I'll uh, try and make certain his army rushes south three. to fight you. How many troops do they have at their disposal? 7k. We can easily be their match. Well, allow me a moment just to recruit another thousand men before I march forward. Numbers must be on hand. Very well. One thing uh, I learned fighting in the east against the goblins is that numbers, they can be a very dangerous thing to deal with, and one may, must make use of superior odds whenever possible. We would say... <laughs> we have links, we face the same issue, uh, though we are on the other side of the problem. Ah, I understand. Do not worry. No, With good allies yeah. such as Westam and myself on your side, you will not have to worry about such things. I promise you this. Do my certainly the swords to. of the Westamian army are always ready to come to the aid of our friends in BPEC. Now we only wait for the, uh... What should we call this? Uh... This, this time stop magic spell some wizard has clearly <laughs> used. I, some great sorcerer nine, uh, king is clearly using a time stop. I don't know how, but it's a very odd business. It, uh, the claim has been created. We have a claim on each and every one of his provinces, rightfully ours. Their halflings will no longer be suppressed. No pausing. No, no, no. Was bad. Westamirian. Oh, not a lot of options here. For my focus tree, I have to marry a Westamirian. There's only a couple. Oh god, and they're so incompetent too. <laughs> oh, please tell me that's not the only option I have. Oh, come on! Who is left for you to marry? There's uh, I could go for Woodwell. I could go for Netcliff. There, Woodwell is a one oh one. Uh, Netcliff is like an oh one two or something. Oh, that's horrible. We'll see. Probably do Wood because Netcliff you've already fought. Yeah, exactly. Roleplay wise, I I couldn't justify Netcliff. So. Yeah, exactly. Although it would be fun to roleplay make peace with them, do a marriage, and use them as a buffer state with Pearl's Edge, but like, eh. yeah. That Imperial Dockyard is a little nice. Yeah, I'll be. Just tell me the second you're ready for the war. Sounds good. Uh, I'm I'm recruiting another thousand men within West Dam. Many flock to our banner at the chance to gain some experience under my my command. So we shall see. Nice, excellent. We are currently saving the gold for you. Ah, good payment. I believe uh, the it was two hundred gold. Was what was from? Exactly. And of course the the other thing my mother mentioned potentially in the future. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. You gotta love oh loading God. screen simulator. Yeah, this is insane. Uh, we had this at the start of the last U4 game. I've talked to Dustin about this before. We have to be strict with just getting these things going because we spent like probably almost an hour of today's four hours just dealing with this stuff. That's gotta. That's gotta stop. Down the line, uh, most of the players, struggle problem players, will probably end up having uh, to quit. So it should be better later yeah. sessions for sure. Well, what will happen is we'll, we'll get the players who just want to paint and do wars, and then they'll realize they really can't with this group, and then they'll just leave, and then we'll have big nations to deal with. But it'll be good. Mm. Well, every every game we get with outside players like this, it, there's always just that phase where we get all the comp players, and then the comp players realize this isn't a game they can comp in, and then they just dip, and then we have everyone who's left basically. That tends to be the the theme that's followed. Yeah, I'm, I'm purpose chose a nation where uh, I didn't want to blob too much. Yeah. Just I, want to regain the Huffling land and I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I wanna, I'm want i hoping that we're kind of stop the wars after X-Wees and then I just want to play a bunch of Imperial politics for a while, to be honest. Yeah, I, I have nowhere else to go after that, very much. Um, yeah. and, until Laurent wants to do something against Khaled. Exactly. No, I'll I didn't go to TwitchCon. It's in San Diego, which is really far away. And I'm a tiny streamer, Chobo, so no, I didn't go. Also, I'm streaming, just so you know, I'm not crazy. I am aware. Okay, cool. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, not I'm not talking to myself, I promise. Yeah, you being crazy part, though, I'm... Uh, <laughs> well, okay, that's unrelated. I'm not certain about that. I'm one. not explicitly yeah. crazy in the context of talking to myself right now. Let, let me clarify that. That that I'm not crazy for. Yeah. And then we agree. Good. I have to rebuild my navy, too. I lost a lot in that. 
I, I tried to take on the Durrani Navy, and I didn't realize they had uh, heavy ships, so it did not go well. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be hard. Yeah, be annoying. Uh, x wix only has 11 ships left, four of them galleys. Wonderful. Seven transport, so... We will, we, will, we will destroy their fleet in that battle as well. Indeed. We have uh, 20 trade ships at our disposal. I'm getting the remainders of my fleet combined, and then I will be sending my troops north as soon as you start the war. Excellent. Let me know when you're ready. And we'll go. Fuck it. Not bad. I married uh, a woman of Woodwell, and she appears to be of good, good bearing. Good reading. And we're paused. What the fuck is unpausing? Oh, it's a problem with these giant, giant games. Today's gonna be fun. Hell yeah! How come, Lollipop? What you doing? Someone got screwed over somehow. We gotta just keep going though. There's 47 players. You can't fuck us all another like for 50 minutes for this. There we go. Cool. Oh, wait for RP. A vanilla RP at Bailey's. Nice. That'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, no. We we had 74 players in a uh, MD game before spoons. I think we had 70 something. There were a lot. That was that big, bro. I think it was the Brazil game I did way back. Oh, for EU4, maybe. Our, our last uh, full map EU4 game, we had 40-something players as well, so. Oh, I see your units have uh, finished recruiting down south. Oh, yes. you. I forgot that they don't automatically go to their army. Logistical issues. You must understand, I'm still getting used to command. I understand. I'm certain on the field of battle you will... Uh... Absolutely. Don't worry not. I'm going to personally lead my men. You're in fact not leading your own army. I'm so. fixing that right now. <laughs> Very good. I haven't played E4 a lot in a long time, so bear with me here. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> what trait did he get? He got benevolent. Wow. Okay. Cool. And our wife is incorruptible. Wow, okay, we're gonna do some not horrible roleplay. We're gonna be not horrible. Good. Alright, All right. my army stands ready and my navy stands ready. Whenever you wish for us to strike, my friend. Then we strike now. Very well. To glory and to victory. Raven Lux. To victory. It would appear Reveria has come to our enemy's aid. It is no matter. They're damn pirates, nothing more. We will rout them. I am oh, considering, getting, in fact, sending my army over to he's deal getting, with them. He's getting some good rolls, my god. That he is. He nine, has a nine, good, eleven. Uh, yeah, he's a good general. Yes, uh, they have a remarkably good general, I must say. I think our numbers will carry, will carry this, though. Durrani! Ooh! And Reveria. Our enemies are always working together, it seems. Ah, a tough battle. I'll be honest, I am not adjusted to command like this. But regardless, a victory all the same. I'll rout the remnants of their army. Excellent. Let me know when you have the siege under control, and then I will move. Then we can perhaps move to... Uh, I'll move over to fight Riveria. Very well. We will need access through the lands of Lord, I believe. I believe he shall give it. The second we give, uh, I'm asking for access now. But if he can have access, if we given, can have access through given, I would like to. Our enemy. Very well, but uh, given the fact that we will have to fight Reveria and this was not planned, I assume in the peace deal when we get gold from Reveria, I we will get a a fair compensation for that. Of course. Good. Uh, when we do the peace deal, you will automatically receive uh, quite a bit of gold from the peace deal itself. Good. As you have done so many of the battles, your war score will be... Uh... Is that how that works? Yeah. Oh. You, you currently have 8% participation, so if we do the war... Uh, we will only receive 20, and you will receive 80 of the gold. I did not know that's how that works. Cool. 
Sounds yeah, good. So it's pretty good. So you're getting a lot of free gold on top of the. Uh, it is. Price. It does feel. It does feel <laughs> fun to be going back to my mercenary ways. I expected when I came back to be the Marquis of West Ham, I would be a great noble. But it appears that the goings on of politics are the same as mercenaries, just with court finery involved. Indeed, indeed. Though uh, I know you and Bpec are not quite of that type. A naval battle off of Bpec. I think that we will have it in yeah. hand, though. Just be safe. You are free to take over the Siege of Xmas, if you're interested. Uh, I think well, I will send my men to Revere. Actually, we should do that together. So let's just finish the war, and then we'll send them as a group. Yeah. How big is their navy, do you know? Uh, Revere's navy? I do not have much intel. Uh, I've only seen three of their ships. So their army is up in the north. I'm going to go handle it. Oh, I see him. Thank you kindly for the help. Oh, they're running. Would you like to attach to my navy and allow us to go attempt to take on Riveria? I will do just so. Very well. Where? My Admiral William Astern will be able to handle that. I am not able to attach. There are no valid units to attach. That's strange. Allow attach. There we go, my bad. Try now. Oh, yeah. We are attached. Very well. The Navy will be sent towards Riveria, and I will attempt to make a crossing with my troops. Aha! I caught their army! Ah. You even managed to split them up. Excellent tactical move. Of course, of course. Absolutely planned and not by chance at all. Of course, I can tell. Oh, and they were wiped from the field. We took many prisoners. We're not savages, of course. Not Allegedly. like the Gawidis. Alleg Hold on, what was that? <laughs> Excuse me. Was, uh, uh, was that a slip rebel. of your tongue there, Ambassador? Would you like to reconsider that, your words? Yeah, I, that was a rebel fringe faction, I'm quite certain. Sir, it was you speaking. I, we were just stand we're standing in front of each <laughs> other. There's no rebel faction in this room. I mean, uh, you know, how it is. How what is? This is truly a... Uh... Oh, be advised. Big news in the Empire. What happened? Let me go look. The Empire Statements. Ah. The King Arburn died. Or See? Duke, I should say. That is an F indeed. This is literally a Skyrim conversation. It's almost like fan <laughs> it's almost like fantasy elements like crossover or something. Wait until I do a Elder Kings 2 Skyrim roleplay spoons. You'll love that. I need to get a soundboard with like a bunch of like the uh like the Lord statements or something and play them. My troops are going to be in their capital very soon. We will push out their fleets and uh, slaughter them here. I am taking attrition, though. Fuck. Did I ask for dockyard access? No. From Laurent, we could probably. Yeah, I can ask you in a couple ask of days. Ask for fleet basing rights? Yep. I have to pay him for a bit for it, but it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. I don't think he will have any problem with the uh, Ravarians being weakened from us, so... Ooh, that is quite pricey, yeah. though. He has already conquered two of their provinces, in fact. I heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard, Vampire Hunters, or something. <laughs> are you quoting? Are you quoting like Lord things there, Commander, from Skyrim? The uh, we uh, I I asked the Elder Kings Discord if we could get access a little bit early. They said no, they're too busy for it, which is fair. But they uh, they let us know that when they drop Elder Kings two, a lot of the the guys will have descriptions. But we're gonna start our first Elder Kings roleplay multiplayer game. I think probably around one or two weeks after it releases, because we want to build the uh, the lore compendium pages on our website for it first. But we are gonna have that going later on. So spoons, you will get to see. I, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Greetings. Who are you here to speak with? To you, my, uh, I mean, <laughs> my, my queen, I suppose. I it, it, it would be Marquise. I am Lawrence oh, Silmuna. I am a man. 
I had heard from my mother you had a habit of misgendering rulers. I can see that it is clearly true. Keep track, my, my lord. It's can you not see my appearance? Am I not a man? Am I a beast? I a woman? I the court enough. I was prepared to talk to the lovely lady. I have been called lovely, but never a lady. <laughs> what can I do for you, ambassador? I just wanted to let you know, my lord, that I am not having any interest in Carneteria right there. I just wish to tell you this. I wish to comfort you in the thought. Ah. That is, that is all, my lord. Understandable. Also, just since you do have a border with him, I, my new wife, uh, she is a lovely woman. She's not here. She's out riding, I believe. Aranila Woodwell, a good woman. Her family is under my protection. Do you understand? Of course, of course. There is good. simply no interest there. I'm glad to hear that. It is a beautiful place. Uh, I have not traveled there, but my wife tells me that it, the forests of Woodwell are beautiful. I, I do look forward to traveling there when I am no longer leading my men in battle. Lovely. That sounds very lovely, my lord. Thank you for your... And I appreciate you letting us know and, and, and being honest about your intent. We, we thank you of for course. it, and I will not forget it. Of course, my lord. Is there anything else I can do for you? It would appear that there is nothing you can do for him. Ah, he left. Okay. <laughs> Right. Misgendering me and then leaving without saying goodbye. A, a strange man to be sure, but nothing to be done. Indeed, indeed. What do I need to do? Take sides in Parliament. I can do that. Always willing to take sides in Parliament. Of course. Where do you think you're going, bud? Your navy is making a run for it. I'm going to intercept. Oh, you already intercepted. Fuck, okay. <laughs> really? Yeah, you oh, are. Just, well, oh, no, because I'm faster than your navy. That's why. I have a godsend. Uh, uh, oh, you've got the speed, yeah. Uh, leader. Yeah. yeah. We shall prepare be for advised, the remnants of their fleet. Yes, just be advised. The Riverian does still have a small uh, army. 5,000 or so left. Where are they? they they are somewhere uh, in the Gawedi Mountains, I believe, or forests. The fools. There, you see them now in Lawrence. I believe uh, we can hunt them down. In fact, I will move over. If you would give me the chance, as soon as I've done with the siege, I would like the chance to destroy their armies again. Very well. I shall move over, and I can take over the siege. Uh, so that is, that is, that is agreeable. You can get your army here. Oh, I see them, yes. They're going to hide up there. Damned cowards! I heard that these reavers out of Riveria were strong, and they were brave, but clearly not. Most definitely not. Disappointing. <laughs> the siege may be over before you get here. We have it well in hand. <laughs> I, I've heard that there's disease inside of their little fortress. If you can even call this... Little wooden dwelling one. I'm not a man trained in siege warfare, so I'm afraid I am struggling to get through their fortifications. The defenders are fierce. These, these reavers aren't savage people, after all. Of course. I'm here to relieve you of your siege. Wonderful. You are free. Greetings. Uh, what is your name? Alwyn Goldlocks. Go Go Goldilocks? You have the siege. We wish you the best. Cold Thanks, Coldy Locks is the name of your general. <laughs> yeah, the, I, you get the best names to You do, yeah. Oh my my gosh. general is William Goldflower now. That's my new leader, by the way. Oh. Old, uh, leader died. Is it? Oh yeah, my gosh, he's yeah. An investor, of course. That's William fans, Goldflower, so. he's an embezzler. <laughs> you are at this point. Just super wealthy, corrupt B Peck. You gotta love it. Uh, Lord Electa. Greetings! Ah. Greetings, uh, delegate from the Emperor. Emperor himself. The Emperor has requested your support of some of your forces to, uh, to, to aid in an internal conflict that is uh, currently occurring around uh, Wex and the state of Wex. As well as within the, as well as within the Magisterium. What of the Magisterium? They are currently being sieged by rebels. Are there are there battle mages not enough to push back simple rebels? I am afraid I do not have the army to fight them on my own. But perhaps with the, me and Westam could together through his territory march and deal with them. 
this is for the stability of the Empire. I see that this internal conflict uh, is only causing more harm than good, and it should be ended swiftly. Well, yes, of course. Uh, we are only dealing with the Reavers to the west for the time being. I, I, I am going to finish chasing down their army, though. I cannot have this army marching through allied territories like this. Indeed. Westham, could you also transfer the two southern provinces? Uh, yes. Hello. I'm an ambassador from the King of Laurent. I would like to speak both with Western and with uh, Emperor Vex. Okay, I, I'll be right back. I've got an urgent matter to speak to attend to. Of course, of course. Will be. The fuck did their army go? court has become quite popular. Their navy, uh, their navy is approaching. We had them. Yes. Uh, my master. Sorry. Not these little shits. Yeah. Apologies. Uh, what, what did you wish? Of course, we would like to um, have our relations more formalized, i.e. Uh, an official alliance and perhaps some uh, marriages between our houses. If oh, oh, by the way, is this Killian Solorial or an ambassador? This is an ambassador. Ah. First off, I wish we have, when you return for you to send my cousin thanks. However, I would say that I find it very odd that he would wish to discuss such important matters and not be present himself. Yes, he, he would like to invite you for uh, a great... Well fought. Thank well you. fought, uh, my friend. He, he, has, uh, he has recently struck a deal with, with the Duke of Song Coast, uh, allowing for that part of the realm to be further centralized. Uh, he is currently uh, in Sonair, uh, but of course... Uh, he shall be with you as, as soon as... I understand. I would wish to speak with him personally. It's been years since we saw each other, and when last I believe I was only six, and a ward under him in Laurentine. To speak with such matters, I would like to speak with Solorio himself. Indeed. Yes, of course. Uh, I must say, uh, Wisdom, we have to move our troops to deal with Magisterium, uh, as the Emperor wills, if you would be so willing. Of course, I am moving my fleet, uh, I believe, oh, I was repairing in, in Dame's Teeth, we can unite our forces and move to deal with the rebels together. Oh, I can cross? Oh, okay. Yes, it is uh, simply rebels. Never tried that. Cool. Uh, no ships there. Very well. If you would meet up your army with mine in the Dame's Teeth, we will cross. I am moving as we speak. Sorry, please oh, do continue uh, your meeting. I, I will, when you're ready and I will go on. Uh, good day. Good day, Ambassador. Killian Solorial would not even meet with me himself. I do not know if I should take disrespect for such actions. I believe it uh, would not be unwise to take this respect. But it would be uh, unwise to show it. I'm ready to move. You're follow Destinado. I, I believe I cannot attach as we are not at war. Oh no, I can. I'm attached. Oh, I need actually military access. I do need that as well. Oh, both hands. I can still see my breath, it's so cool, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> ah, he has moved away from the strait. It should be safe for us to cross. Indeed, now. let's go. I would you, would you allow me this command again? Uh, I will indeed, I will remove my commander. Good. My say, I'm amazed Westham did not intervene on his own. He had 18,000 troops watching it happen. Something seems very wrong with this situation, I must say. Wex, you mean? Yeah, Wex, sorry. Why would he send us to, to fight when he has Sorry. troops ready? I do not know. This is worrying. I'll be honest. I do worry about Lothane. I don't know him very well, and what I've heard is very mixed. The actions of my ancestors with him were have brought a great dishonor and a blot upon my family that will take generations to relieve. From what I've heard, he may not even be our next emperor. As Istralor currently has the majority following him. Does he actually? Yeah. Oh wow, he does. Dim's crown, the AI is uh, swinging things against him. He's got four votes right now. Wex only has three. But to be fair, he has one more, I think, electorship he can grant, doesn't he? He does not. He can only oh. have seven until we get the decentralization. Oh thing. yeah. He needs to court one of those guys and he needs to do it quickly. Or it's too late. 
That's why right, we're. That's why we're. That's why we're in Magisterium right now. We're securing his uh, election. <laughs> election, yeah. He owes us his time. He owes us a favor game. for this, I will say. Yeah, do you definitely think so? I also believe it is time for you to receive your gift. Is it not? Indeed, the two hundred gold I believe we agreed upon. And it is yours. Very well. However, we will give you this together with an insult. As uh, we sadly stole one of your inventors from you. How to roleplay? How, can you even do that mechanically, or is it a roleplay thing? I, mean, I, got, I got an event. So ah. we currently have minus 50 relation. And I, I just got the event, so I... Ah! <laughs> that is! Uh, why did you not tell us about this when you took him? All you needed to do was ask. I'm afraid he, he came to our nation seeking refuge, and we could not say no to a scientist. I understand, but I think in the future, you should make cause to speak with me first before you take my people. They have free movement, of course, but such an important thing should be discussed. Are we agreed? We agree. Very well. Is this, um... This is, the, this is the war camp of uh, Lauren Silmuna alongside uh, the general from BPEC. What can I do for you? I am an imperial delegate, and the emperor has uh, has um, requested the support of BPEC for in in influencing the elections of the governments of uh, of, of the next emperor. Um, oh, we're getting a lot of yes. hatred. Uh, firstly, there are some breaking okay. news about vicious vampire, uh, about vicious attacks continue in Corvoria. But other than that, yes, we will be, uh, we should be able to help you, yes, but, because currently there are four electors who stand against you, is that right, Wix? Is the Emperor still here, or has he left? Uh, I, I'm still. Here. Would you would you consider uh, in, influencing Silverforge to vote for us in any way possible? You will be. Um, this will be greatly appreciated. And uh, you share a border with him. Why cannot the emperor do this himself? We we believe his ties. Uh, we, we we believe he requires a bit more persuasion, and perhaps someone from another. Another elector would, would be able to influence Forgive me power. for being so frank, but I, for one, have no incentive to do so. Are you offering something in return for us to use our considerable influence and prestige to try and get you this vote? I'm not a man who will who will beat around the bush here. I'm going to speak frankly. Well, what, what are you offering in exchange? You may be the emperor and we are loyal to you, but you're asking for a big favor here. Already, after asking for one with the Magisterium. Well, not that is as that, but I am um, more speaking towards BPEC, since uh, oh, we already good. have a, a, a standing aligned with him, and we believe his uh, influence within Silverforge could uh, could uh, help uh, persuade their decision to towards us. Also, how's it going, Denise? As halflings, we have indeed made a deal to support you with our vote for Emperor, but we have not made a deal to help you sway others. Uh, why should we do such a thing? No disrespect, of course. We are simply uh, trying to get some clarity in the situation. Yeah. You see that? the king sitting, uh, waiting for his cousin to allow him to speak. Greetings. Mm. You, you, you are in the war camp of uh, Lauren Silmuna, and I believe the current conversation does not concern me. So if the others would wish to leave, I would speak with my cousin. Yes, can I please speak to you, uh, Raven Relox, in... Alright. Now, I'll see you guys around. See you. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Greetings, Killian. It is good to see oh. you. It has been so long. It has been. It's been Out of role play, the last time you saw him, he was like literally a child, and you'd spoke together, but he was only your ward for probably around like four or five months. So you weren't very close, but you didn't know each other. So it's been a long time. Mm, yes, yes. He is obviously very old now. He's very much a warrior. He's got scars, and he is obviously leading a military group. So it's been a very different 
situation than what you're used to with him, of course. So, the king as a forty-six-year-old would still see the, this eighteen-year-old as a as a kid, but he would not. Of say course, in, yes. you know. But he's not a six-year-old, so. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway. Greetings, Sir Loren. I'm, I'm you you are currently in the war camp of Lauren Silmuna, oh. and I am discussing things with my cousin as of now. Yes. yes. I am an envoy of your. Uh, you would cousin. forgive me, but uh, I do wish to speak with my cousin here. It's been a long it time. Must be spoken in years. I. It has time. been a decade. No, I, 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 I brought a hundred kegs of wine. Oh wait, hold on. That's uh, that's Roger Silmuna. My bad. I I thought you were someone else. That you yeah. actually do relate here. Did, out of roleplay, right, did you come to the to over here, or what? What you doing? Or is it an ambassador? No, no, no. Coming there. It's a uh, an Esken ambassador. Ah, would you mind waiting till I'm done talking with Killing Slorio? I don't mind. Okay. Cousin, cousin, it is good. It is good to see you. You you said you had something you wish to speak about. Yes, yes. I I would like to formalize the relations between our uh, two nations. So you're seeking a no, formal no, alliance. Are... Then? Yes, yes. I am not opposed I, to this at all. I was very young when last we saw each other, but from what I remember, I know you are a good man who cares for your people. I, as the protector of the West, and as the Marquis of West End, will do my best to always work for the best interests of my people, my lords, and of course myself and my family. Being another who also looks at things this way, I would have no issue of us working more formally together. Indeed. Is there uh, any strings though, that would come with such an arrangement? I must ask this, as it seems that many within the Empire, everyone wants something, as do you. Is the Alliance enough, or are you wishing for more here? Well, first of all, I would like to plainly say that I, I plan a war against Goward. Uh, first off, as a show of good faith, allow me to take care of your rebels in the East. Yes, uh, I will do likewise, so you have... You also have... I, I do. Yes, a lot of them, actually. I didn't see that. I... Um, I just passed a decree to um, take land from some factions, and uh, the adventurers... <laughs> adventurers are not happy about me, me taking land from them, unfortunately. Um, Understandable. Do you want to give me access? Oh, you're dealing with it. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to give me access so I can get to my rebels in the west? Uh, of course, of course. I sent an offer. Did you receive it? Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, we would have an alliance mainly... Um, <clears throat> mainly, mainly to show of good faith. I, I believe that our, our history has, has shown that... Um, the one is not is not as strong as both, and we we both have good relations with BPEC as well. Indeed, we have many mutual friends, and as you know, my ancestors, though I not do not certainly agree with their actions, sacrificed much for the current circumstance. And what I would be amiss not to at least honor their deaths and sacrifice in choosing to side with you. It's a complex situation, but we are where we are, and I do hope that you'll be a good friend, as we are relatives, if nothing else. Yes, indeed. Out of RP, have you married? Yes. I had okay. a royal marriage with the Woodwell family. And that's your queen consort as well. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Marquis. A consent. good woman. Emil, yeah. she is off riding. She loves to be in the forest. I struggle to get her to enjoy court life for long. Oh. That is interesting. Perhaps. She... Yeah, indeed. Hunting is, is um, perhaps more enjoyable for some. Um... But I do not agree entirely, at, le at, at least compared to the court life of Florentine. Indeed. It's quite... I understand. You, you're, 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 the culture and etiquette of your courts is without peer. We all know this. Indeed. I would be happy to formalize an alliance with you. We are agreed then. And yes, perhaps sir. an agreement on the matter of marriage. When I have children of my own and an heir, they shall marry one of your own children or your children's children. Is this agreed? It's agreed. Very well. I look forward to it. Let us bind our families together once more and provide stability for the West. Is there anything else I can do for you, cousin? Um, no, you're a busy man. 
not not for my cousin. I've not spoken to you for some time, so I can of course leave some time for you. Out of uh, roleplay, do you want to just say that like they go hunting or something? I don't know what Killian's yeah, lawyer likes to, to do. Hunting. So okay, cool. Yep. We can go with my wife. We can go hunting in Woodwell then. <laughs> yep. Cool. Well, wonderful. On that, I will be on my way. It is oh, good but, to see uh, you again, cousin. It is. Go over the day. Very good. Good day. Well, we secured ourselves an alliance with the Laurentish. Obviously, we'd be very conflicted about that, but since like our whole political sphere has been built around them, it's kind of necessary at this point. We do have an open slot right now. And we've dealt with those rebels in the west as well. Unsurprisingly, as soon as Lauren Silmuna got back, he's been doing nothing but fighting, essentially, which would be nice to kind of chill. We have an heir, by the way. Brian Silmuna. He was adopted, though, so I might get rid of him. He would be like one of our distant relatives, so he's not our actual son. And he's actually older than us. We'll leave it that way for now, and then after a little while, we might potentially get rid of him, because he is a babbling buffoon, so we wouldn't like him very much. Also, apparently there's a news newspaper. We'll go read that in a minute as well. I am curious to see what the new newspaper is. New newspaper. Let's see. Combined with strong moral compass, Emil has always been a sense of order. Decisions made for her are united decisions. Be it about political issues or during friendly conversation, the Marquise speaks her mind eloquently, something that awarded her some admiration even during her early days in Woodwell. Wonderful. So we have a very competent wife. That's wonderful. It seems that the political marriage with Woodwell was a good one in the end. We have to go deal with those rebels in a minute after we're done sieging out already. All right, we'll read the newspaper in the meanwhile. Vicious attacks continue in Coveria. A grisly sight. The mauled body of a young woman has been discovered in Westford Street, known as Lady Lori, to those in the area. Laurel Roswell, 26, was found deceased in the alleyway behind the Red Raven Tavern at approximately 5 in the morning yesterday. Russell's body was found to be in a similar state of those before her, brutalized and exsanguinated, which I think means, yeah, her blood having been uh, drawn from her. This marks the third victim of these brutal attacks on Converian citizens in recent weeks. Many believe there would be to a pack of wild dogs loose in the streets, while some have made claims of a night stalker, a serial murderer. When asked about such rumors, the chief inspector, Jack Ripley, stated that these are nothing more than animal attacks, proclaiming that no man of this world would exhibit such viciousness. Inspector Ripley has advised the citizens of Caveria, however, women are urged not to ply their trade on the streets into the night and to instead seek shelter where they can, while they're in the Tamers themselves or attending the gentlemen in their homes. <laughs> the prostitutes, fuck. So there's Caveria and Jack the Ripper, apparently, is what's going on right now. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Caveria and Jack the Ripper. Elven immigrants from the Magisterium. Of course they are welcome. We're from a silver family. We're half elf ourselves, so we would have no issue with it. I won't set another rival. We don't really have any other ones, so. Roleplay wise or otherwise. Alright, so currently it's looking like our major allies are going to be B Peck and Lauren, and we have secondary semi good relations with Salorim, and then also, of course, I think the Emperor to a little degree. We need to find another ally or two right now. That's really important for our future. What's up, Canadian? Yes, it is you, Fort. And Menar specifically. Which is even better. We'll go with that. We are completely out of man min power too. We need we need some time. He also needs to sell us the last promise province that he promised. Because we did core, I believe we cored the fort. Yes, we did. So he needs to sell this to us. We'll go talk to him in a moment. We'll do some diplo with him. Oh, yeah. Bavarian Pearl's Edge. Ooh. They are not having a good time in this war, it looks like. They lost the Timber Fort. But their their troops are winning. Who else would make a good ally? We could try and rebuild relations with Istralor. 
That would be difficult, though. We could try and work with the Magisterium, but they're clearly very weak, though it would be nice to have the mages in our pocket. Fuck. Lorenz is infertile. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, Lorenz Silmuda is infertile. It's a good thing that we adopted an heir, so if he dies, we're fine. If not, we're going to have some problems, so... I have no idea how to play this game, might never, but now I'm wondering how the RP is in it. It's solid. This is basically like a fantasy EU4 mod, essentially, so the RP has been pretty pretty interesting so far. There are so many rebels, though. Alright, we're going to go talk with Great Ording, because he owes us. Where is he at? Um... I'll I'll take that province and give it to you immediately, Pearl's Edge, okay? Let's just fight those. But they won't accept the Rubenair thing anyway. Alright, we gotta go back. Greetings, this is an ambassador from Lorne Silmuna. I believe there oh. is a promise unkept by the Great Ording. Uh, I'm trying I was trying to hand it to you, but you I, you you haven't cord cored your Oh wait. Yes now I, I have. can. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Okay, sorry, I'm getting I'm sorry I was distracted by the war. I understand. I'm doing it right now. Oh, I, I, we are at war, so hold on. We have to finish yeah, up. Yeah, we gotta finish the war. Very well. As soon as you are finished, I expect the offer to uh, be given. Okay. I'm going to ask for a little cash, though, because I spent a lot of time fighting corruption because I, I didn't core it. Very well. Uh, no, money for it? No, that was not part of a deal. But yes, but then I kept but then I kept it and had to fight corruption because of it. I understand, but it could have been transferred for a little while now, so, I mean. No, well, not until recently. Uh, hold on. As I said, this was not part of the deal. All right, fine, fine, you can have it. Very well. The Great Ording does not like us, and I don't blame him, but to be fair. He wanted to not, like, give us any of the coastline, which I guess I understand, but still. This is multiplayer roleplay, as you can clearly hear. Yeah, so... Alright, we have dealt with all of our rebels. It's time to go home. We might as well just keep the access with them. Yeah, this game host server is on ne Nekama? What do you mean servers on Nekama? What, 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 I do not know what that is. Good. He honored his word. Greetings. Hello, who am I speaking with? We are speaking with uh, Alan, uh, the diplomat of the Sons of Dameria. Ah, it's good to see you. It's been quite a while since I left. I hope you and Roger are in good health. Yeah, we fought a war against uh, the Orcs one more, one more time. Of course, I expect nothing less of the Sons of Dameria. Yes. I must say that... Uh, Court life here in West Ham does make me long for the days where I had no such responsibilities and were fighting alongside the rest of you. Yes, he, it was uh, glorious. Of course, but, but what brings you here? Well, so Roger told me that he wanted you to know that in every case you, need, you needed help. The sons of Dameria would bring you this help. You are offering aid to West Ham in times of war then, if needed? Yes. A most generous proposal. And likewise, when you return, tell Roger that my troops are at his disposal. If the orcs and the goblins ever become too much, you have the armies of West Ham and Medalair only to be called. Well, out of, out of roleplay, I can't, I can't see it though, but you know, in theory. Yeah, 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 but don't worry. We would uh, share the maps. Of course. <laughs> I, I, I would I would hope, as I spoke many a night about this in the past, that likewise we will see each other as family, which we are. And family must look after each other. Already yes. I have seen how little alliances and agreements mean within the Empire. But family, it should mean something. I know that sounds ironic, coming from one of my lineage, but I do mean that. Yes, but as Roger 
told me you are not your father. Of course not. We are all and our own men, and we should not be judged for those in our past that we have no exactly. control over. Agreed. You came with us. You fought with us. You drank with us. So this is why we would help you in any way possible. And likewise, I will never forget my days fighting alongside you. You will always have the sword, and I will make sure to impart upon my children and their children, as long as I live, that we are family and that we must look after one another. This is perfect. Good. I will bring those glorious news to Roger. And be assured that he will be very happy to, to know that. Good. Send him my love and my, my thanks. And let him know what I have told you. Yes, I will. Farewell. Farewell. Goodbye. And Sir to you. Lawrence. Fertile and benevolent, though. Goddamn. I got the game free in the Epic Store a long time ago. I don't care if I can mod or even join. Yeah, we, we've got a big mod list. Oh, it's a cross-store thing. I don't know how that would work. If, if you can still join multiplayer games, it should be fine. I've never tried, so I, I have no idea what to tell you on that one, I'll be honest. Not, not a clue. I'm going to go check the statements really quickly. We only have an hour left of the game. Oh, my gosh. We have made these weekend games only for the last four hours, and I can definitely tell the difference. They go, they just go by so quick now. To be fair, I have a lot of Diplo posts I want to write, and I can't really do them all the games ongoing. I mean, I guess I could, but... Kind of inconvenient, so I'll have time to do that before the next session, at least. We are building temples all over West Ham. We are doing... A uh, great revitalization of the culture of Western Demaria, and that will be primarily through investment into the local area and the revitalization of our culture. Which, of course, the church can help with. The comma is in the settings for all Paradox games, unless you join games based on Xbox stores and stuff. Ah, I gotcha. I don't know if that would cause problems or not, that's the thing. Yeah, there's, there's, there's Stellaris after this, too. I'm not streaming this Stellaris game. I'm doing this Stellaris game just really casually. Because we're already, I think this is the fourth session of that Stellaris game, and I haven't streamed any of the other ones, so. I didn't plan on streaming it. I kind of just want to have a chill game. And not stream it, to be honest, so we'll see. I mean, I guess I could, but. We need to find another ally, though, and optimally, I would like to try and do it. With the union of Brayan the First and Arella, we have gained not only a spouse, but also an ally to the realm. The Silna Trisfer is an old and influential family in the seat of Gabriel, uh, and is the jewel of the march. Of course, a friendship has to go both ways. Oh, strong list of the cards. Oh, no! Lawrence just died! What? Oh no. Lauren Silmuna just fucking died. Oh god damn it. He was such an interesting character. I didn't I wanted to roleplay him for a while. Fuck. West Ham. I am not a nation. I am but a man, and this is a time of mourning. What do you want? Marquis Brian is Simon. Um, I have uh, urgent news to for you. There have been many, many rumors within. Uh, West, Ambassador, uh, you come here while we are grieving the death of Lawrence Silmuna. Have you no respect? I do have respect, but it would it would be worse for the Empire to erupt in chaos in the next few years. What What do you want? Make it quick. It has been known that there has been known conspiracies against Wex, and uh, we have reason to believe that um, a preemptive strike against us may be held in the future. We would uh, request your support 
that in a war we would have your backing. I don't see how this concerns me. How this concerns you? It concerns you because you are a part of the Empire. Of course I'm a part of the Empire, but... You, you've given me no reason for why I, I would need to do anything here. A civil war would abrupt. Civil wars always are happening in the Empire. Again, how does this concern me? Well, we also have reason to know that, um... That you have uh, some interest in the Imperial Dockyards. Of course. And you already promised uh, the the old Marquis Regent that they were ours. So that is not something you have on the bargaining table here, Ambassador. No, it is not. But we have also reason to believe that uh, you wish to reclaim more regions within West Ham. Or from, oh, from re re relation to your old family. Perhaps in time. Who do you speak of specifically? I, I am very short on time, but it, it, if it is your matter not to speak of this, then we shall be, uh, then we shall be leaving. I told you I am grieving. Lord Silmuna is dead. I am honoring him as one should, Ambassador. I am doing you a favor by even speaking with you at a time of mourning. I do, I do apologize. So what do you want? Time. What exactly exactly. do you want from me? Your support in time of war. What does that mean? That he would not fight against us. I have no desire to frankly fight for you either. My lands, they have been destroyed by wars. My levies lack men. This is not a time that West Ham is capable of fighting yet another war. My yeah, late my late like family me. member, Lawrence Silmuna, was a strong man and a good fighter. And he fought many wars, as did our ancestors. We need a time to rebuild. Then we would hope you would uh, not include yourself in this conflict. Of course, if I have no interest in deposing your family. My ancestors died putting you on that throne. And I shall see to it. Um, have a. I am sorry for your loss, and have a good day, sir. You as well. All right. So out of roleplay, we're a bumbling buffoon, and we're careful. So we're gonna do like no expansion, and we're gonna fuck up all our diplomacy. So this will be fun. What's up, Trucker Nero? Yeah, we're we're a careful bumbling, uh, babbling buffoon. So, yeah. He took Rubenair? Isn't that our sister kingdom? Wasn't Rubenair also the same family of our mother? Also, thank you for the follow, Slightly Risky. I could have sworn they are. That's a big deal that I didn't even notice. I do believe they were like that that was our family. Yeah, they're from the House of Solorial as well. The Ording are not, so this would actually be a big deal. No, okay, so it's not one of the sisters, so it's not directly our territory, but they are family. Not very close. Yeah, so we wouldn't mind then. We'll let that one go. All right, I'm going to send out some diplomats. We'll do those. And then I'm going to put a permanent ambassador with the emperor, I suppose, as we'll do that as well. I don't think there's really anything else we need to do. I always need to go and look through these, because, again, I always forget, like, the important things that you need to be doing in EU4. Because it's one of those games where there's always stuff you should be doing. Our air is very weak, though. Reina Silmuna. She is a 2-2-3. That is not fantastic. There's no roleplay reason to disinherit her, though, so we'll keep her around. Do you have room in your Stellaris game, or do I have to wait for a new game to be made? You'll probably have to wait for a new one. I do believe we're full, unless we need a replacement later. Because last I checked, we did have a full house. 
We will be starting another Stellaris game before too long, uh, so you're welcome to join the next one, though. They will be permanently on the Sunday slot, so Stellaris games are always going to be from here on out pretty much Sundays from 2 to 6 p.m. EST. So, yeah. We'll announce a new one, I'd say probably around 2 or 3, 2 to 4 weeks away. Kuwaiti merchant discovered in bed with elf hypocrisy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, of course. There's no limits on what you can make in it at all. Like, you can, you can go whoever you want. That is totally fine. Or are they too OP because they can see that? You just, the thing is, in our games, if you're abusing things, we got a big problem. EST says, yeah, there's so many Euros, and there's so many Europeans in our Discord. I always have to clarify for them. What's up, Nemo? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. You're playing the Wapzoa, right, Lily? Does it count as abuse? I don't know the meta for Stellaris, and I'm not going to try and learn it, so you tell me. If it's meta, if you abuse it, then yes. You can be strong in any of our games, you just can't abuse it. The way we kind of look at it in our server is like, if you get really strong, that's fine. But with that comes the maturity to not abuse it. You can't just steamroll players if you get strong. You have to basically become, not stagnant, but you can't just walk around abusing your power. That's where we have an issue, so... Alright, currently we are basically working on rebuilding West Dim. After the death of Lorn Silmuna, which I will write a post for, but I'm going to wait until after the game. Because I want to write out like a proper, proper thing for it. Um, we have a distant family member. He'd probably be like a cousin, which is the Marquise Spray and Silmuna. In the roleplay, what I am going to say though is that Reina Silmuna is the daughter of... Uh, Lauren Silmuna and not Brian Silmuna. So we're going to say that Rihanna Silmuna is specifically Lauren Silmuna's daughter, who he had with the uh, the the noblewoman from Woodwell. We will say that, though. If she dies, though, any of her kids will be of uh, Brian Silmuna. Because I want to have the Lauren's line continue, just for roleplay purposes. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Chef. What's up, man? Good to see you. Also, I do promise, guys, I'm not, like, completely done streaming. I haven't been streaming in much the last couple weeks, but I'm working on YouTube stuff, so... Uh, when Vicky3 drops, I'll be streaming a lot again. Just heads up. I want to keep reiterating that. Because I had someone ask me if I stopped streaming. <laughs> Which, I haven't. I'm just kind of focusing on other things now. We're actually one of the great powers. I'm really surprised by that. We're apparently very strong. I don't. We don't. I don't feel strong, but apparently we are. Oh yeah, the Rimmer one that got uh, announced. That does look pretty good. But yeah, given that he's a babbling buffoon and careful, we're just gonna. I'm not gonna go do too much Diplo right now. We're really just currently working on rebuilding West Dam because it's it's had a lot of work in it over the last couple decades, so. It needs time to just kind of rebuild, you know. Which doesn't happen overnight. We also do need to work to integrate Metal Air at some point as well. Which we can do at 1491, so we got a ways. Either through policies and rule are simply a prospering country, our time with the gnomish minorities of our nation has led to natural learning and understanding of each other's customs. West Ham's tolerance for the gnomish race has increased. Wonderful. We're going to be a very tolerant West Ham, besides obviously orcs and goblins and gnolls and stuff like that. What's up, Drop Kicker? Hello, European. How's your day so far? Are you calling me a European? Do I sound like a European? I, I don't think I do, but it's possible. I know it's all stuff that is added in mods, but for some reason I'm more interested in its official release. I, yeah, I agree. Like, the official content is always just a little bit, like, more, you know... I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little bit better made, you know? The last EO4 campaign, I lost my dynasty in a similar way, and it took me two sessions to grieve IRL. Yeah. I don't want to lose this Lauren Silmuna line, so we're going to, again, say that the, the, our heir is the daughter of him. You're European only in the bathroom. Hmm. Is that a riddle? That sounds like a riddle. It's congruent with the style and operations of the base game. Yes, exactly. Overseas European. <laughs> 
Ha! So does that mean that we can formally apply for EU status? In that case, Dropkicker, would you be opposed to us formally joining the European Union as the United States? Because I'm honestly down for that. Just saying. Fuck around and find out. If we're if we're European, then we're joining the EU. And then we get all the voting power. Alright? That's what that's going to be. So, ask yourself again. Am I a European? We need a Ruby Hold rivaled us. Is that a player? No, it's not. Well, we are going to rival them right back then. Very rude of them. You're not European. That's fair. That's fair. Lily says that he would like us to join the European Union, and I agree. I, I think it'd be a great idea. So, yeah. Nobody gets all the voting power of the European Union. It's not how the European Union Court doesn't. No, well, for the Council, no. There's you've got you've got three major bodies, uh, the organs of the European Union. The Council has total voting power, so yes, in that context. But for the European Parliament. Uh, we would get a large contingent of, uh, of votes in there, because that is based off of population. That being said, everything could still get killed in the council, of course. But within the, the context of the very weak parliament, we would still have a lot of representatives. If I remember my EU knowledge correctly, I do believe that's how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong. Antares. But again, since the council has veto power, it would mean a ton. Okay. We've got around 40 minutes left of this game. I would like to us to try and secure, like, one more strong ally. I think we're going to go for the Royal Sard. We're going to talk with him. European. We got some top-class humor today. Very mature. Very solid. Where is he gone? That's, uh... Okay, yeah, he's in a meeting, so that's fun. Who else? Oh, I know what I'll do here. Greetings! Is this even a crumb? Or are you sleeping? All right, the Magisterium's AFK. Nice. Everyone's in these mega conversations. And the Magisterium's AFK. So it appears that we maybe just be vibing for a while, which is totally fine. In order to go down our mission tree to do the Westdemirian Royal Marriage, we need prestige. Does anyone know how to, like, Is there are, are there quick ways for prestige? It's been so long since I played a lot of, like, or since I really researched EU4. I, I played a little bit a couple of months back. But are there ways to get like a more like prestige quickly? Uh, is there any ways I can do that? We could finish off Netcliff, But he is careful. So he would want to go very slowly. Does he have any allies? He does have one. We could fight this war. I'll wait a little bit. We'll do that before the end of today's game, though. Because we are we are enemies with Netcliff, obviously. And we want to finish our past wars with them. And secure the Imperial Dockyards. Since we are looking to become a strong navy. Prestige. I know you get events now and then that give you prestige, of course. I don't think there's any estate things you can do for it, I believe. I don't think so. We'll just have to get, hope we get lucky with events. And it is going down, unfortunately. Um, why is that? The decay, I guess, is so high. Yeah. Mages. Mages give prestige. Ah! Promoting the magical arts! Yeah! Thank you! Oh my gosh, thank you for that, Commander. You're absolutely right. Uh, we're going to pat uh, patron patronage the magical arts. We were literally about to go talk to the Magisterium, and I wanted in roleplay them to basically take in when she comes of age, Reina Silmuna, to teach her magic. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna give money to the magical arts because we want to carry favors with the Magisterium so that we can get one of their affluent and powerful mages to teach the heir to the Silmuna West Dam uh, about magic when she comes of age. So we'll go ahead and do that. 
which will then allow us to do a Westamirian Royal Marriage. I'll read these really quickly as well. Lawrence has chosen to stay true to his blood and aims to unify the lords of Western Demiria and to revive the Grand Duchy itself. To solidify our position in the Western Dame said, we must choose a potential ally and marry our dynasties. This ally must be strong, but not too strong, else they will not fall to our eventual goal of personal union. So we have we are working obviously with Woodwell. We've intermarried with them already, so we're fine with that. All we need is more prestige for that, and then we need a bigger army for this. And then in order to get I the lost name. despicable neighbor. Greetings, who is this? I am the Duke Elector of Persons. Ah! Kalen the Fifth, I believe. Yes. What can yeah, I do for you? We do not get men from Pearl's Edge often. No. I come here to discuss the future of this empire. We are listening. Just look at our recent past with Potamon each other and allowed and what's the fault of that? We've been defeated by outside enemies. Now the Empire is black with civil war. There's Why no civil war yet, happened? but there is certainly one on the horizon. This is obviously the result of the weakness it weakness of the imperial throne if the empire is to survive that authority must be reaffirmed and taken to new levels are you proposing something specifically i hold no love in my heart for pearl's edge and your family you know this you will not find an ally here if that's what you seek Maybe, but maybe I can help you. How can you is help me? True? Is it not true that you ambition to reclaim the throne of your family? Where did you hear about that? Well, let's just say that the that your letters with your own distant cousins have been intercepted. Indeed. Perhaps. What is it to you? that you just might be the strong emperor that this emperor needs a pearl's edge lord supporting west m for emperor you find how that might be a very absurd and not to be believed proposition our families are enemies we have fought each other more times than i can count why would you be proposing such a thing I must say, this is a very unexpected proposal. As you know, the Silmuna family does have a claim on such a thing, but... I am not a man who would seek such... high standing. It is a dangerous thing to be an emperor, as Lothane Wex has found out very quickly. Lothane Wex died peacefully. He is dead? Oh, I see that, yes. It was Duke Caelan now. Wait, is there a new emperor? Oh, yes. Istralor won the emperorship. When did that happen? Uh, it, it just happened. The emperor died and he won oh, the electors. Wow, we have a new emperor. Empress Ayakana, Silistra. They hate our family for the past. That is very dangerous for us. The emperor has promised to uphold tradition. And I find that tradition to be that that tradition will be all doomed. I am therefore seeking for a reform. This changes many things. What exactly were you proposing then? Well. You have made the first part of this clear, but we both know you would not request something like this if you didn't have something in mind. In game terms. What I propose is that we push for your you to be elected, and when your emperor you will centralize the empire. I will what? 
I'm assuming I should not be here for this. Uh, You'd be outside. You can hear it, but don't let it affect your roleplay. I will definitely not. Yep. I will be honest. This is an appealing concept, but this is one that would require me to think about it. I had never planned on such a thing. I'm sure Lauren said, but he's in the grave now. Give me time to think on this, and I will respond to you. Is this agreeable? Yes, this is agreeable. Just well. keep in mind that for us, border princes, security stands above autonomy. Very well. Maybe we agree on Sarah. Uh, when the meeting is concluded, yes, the, it, it uh, is concluded. What can I do for you? Yeah, the halfling uh, delegate will enter. You'll quickly realize it's not the delegate, but the ruler uh, himself, Lord Elector Adlar Brewer, a righteous man and the first, perhaps first ever halfling, halfling you've seen with like a straight back. <laughs> uh, you you are ushered in. into the chambers, uh, personal chambers, not the throne room, since we are good friends. Uh, the Marquis Brian Silmuna. Obviously, you know that Lawrence Silmuna died uh, with a very mysterious and questionable circumstances. Uh, mm -hmm. Out of roleplay, it's Brian Silmuna who's in charge. He's like a distant relative. But the heir okay. in the roleplay is the daughter of Lawrence Silmuna. She's only two years old, though. Very well. What uh, can I do for you? Ah, oh, yes. It's, it's uh, quite dire news, I'm afraid. The... You probably may notice, but there's a new emperor at hand, and uh, well, of course, it does not sit right with me what has happened. I, I believe do... it was foul play. Uh, there was something foul at play with the death of the emperor, emperor himself. Do you know how uh, Lothane died? I have heard nothing. There is nothing but chaos uh, currently in the empire. You believe it was spies, assassins from Estralor himself that led to their downfall. The Empress has As made such, a very bold move if she assassinated the Emperor for her own power. Do you think so? As such, Wix has uh, declared that there shall be war between those that are righteous in the Empire and those that are not, not. As we speak now, members from all around the Empire and outside are gathering to fight this new... Another damned war of life. succession. Have we not fought enough of those in the recent past? Our other option is to let... The murder of Estralor. Do we have any Stand confirmation that this is the case? What I will say is the Wex ruler was still young and a strong, powerful magician. It is highly unlikely that he would die at a young age when he was his magic was that strong. As I such, do also find this to be the case, but without 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 evidence, it would be seen as rebellion to act against the new empress, would it not? It could very well be if it was a true emperor, our empress, but as it is quite probably not, it would not be. I invite you to join me up above and talk to Wex and the others to see what you think. I, I will make the trip, but I cannot make any promises. So we are gathered in the Gibbard room for the time being. Very well, I will make a trip there. Joined. Greetings, I am Brian Silmuna. Welcome. Good to meet you. And you. I'm sorry to be here, as it would be nice to have my old cousin still alive, but regardless, we are where we are, until his daughter comes of age. I am the leader of West Ham. I hear there are stirrings of dissent among the Empire, given recent circumstances. This would be correct, West Ham. My cousin sadly passed away a couple years back as well, and I'm sure if he was alive, he would be able to cut through these trays, just like butter. Yes, indeed. It, it is... Um, the Grand Duke of, of Wex believes that uh, his that old emperor was assassinated. Is there uh, any evidence to confirm this, or are we simply acting on a rumor and a suspicion? Well, Estralor, quite, Estralor, even though the grief of uh, the now Duke 
um, sent several insults to him, as well as, of course, the convenience of, of, of all of this. Uh, f first of all... Who is loyal um, to Estralor as of now? The old emperor was found assassinated with several uh, dozens of uh, uh, cuts to his body. So then the, there it. is evidence that he was truly assassinated. Yes, he was stabbed. Yeah. I have I have a list here of the Estralorian allies. They have <clears throat> James Crown, Moonhaven, Vern, Conwell, Ashendale, Ashendee, Silverforge, is... and Sunhill. I I have to make a OOC statement right now. Um, is this kind of the the Rex Alliance chain uh, channel right now? Yeah. Not uh, everyone in yeah, here is confirmed to be on it, but it is looking that way, yes. Okay, um, the thing is, um, we were asked by Momoki not to uh, put a trigger on the wall right now, because there are concerns about uh, Wax being allied to Laurent, which is kind of forbidden uh, in oh. the rules. Yes, uh, and so we will um, decide on this issue between sessions. Th that wasn't and... written in the uh, rules, though. It was written in some rules, and... Uh, Not the two official first. ones, we, we, yeah, I'll, I'll we, take word for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we forgot, I don't know the state of this, the, the rules right now, uh, I didn't do that. But uh, I, we would wish, I, I would like to ask you not to pull the trigger on that war, for now. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll save for next session, if uh, yeah, it is yeah. happened. In OOC that case, over, I we are back into character. <laughs> In that case, I propose that we should perhaps uh, go wait away to declare this war, and we could instead focus on the true threat, go ahead to the yeah. north. Um, do you guys have oh. anything? Yes. Ooh. Should we perhaps uh, return, uh, Laurent uh, and uh, yeah. Baron, to somewhere we could talk more privately? Yeah, we should. Let's head to BPEC to discuss uh, terms. Yes, yeah, I will yeah. Create a room. Well, I guess we were called here for no good reason. The GCs don't want this war to happen, so it's not going to, which means we're back. It appears in the roleplay, though, that Wex, the Emperor Lothane, was assassinated, though, so that is going to be interesting. I'm sure there will be a giant civil war next session, so that'll be bloody. Which is why I think it is pivotal that we secure Nick Cliff right now. As soon as this truce is done, before the ending of this game, we are going to take the remnants of Nick Cliff, And then we should be strong enough to not have to worry too much about the future. No, what should we go for our first idea set to? This we've got a mod on that adds like a bunch of custom ones for this. So I'll need to look through them. Might go high seas. They really add so many, don't they? Wow. So many. Now we'll probably go exploration. I think is what we'll do. I plan to go naval colonial western from the beginning, so we will follow through on that. I think. We have a cast spell to navally fight Nothalair. That would not be a good idea. Their ships are very strong. They're like a they're like a pirate kingdom, essentially. Hmm. Like I said, we still do need another ally though. The politics of the Empire have gotten very wild. Who is Conwell working with? No one. When our when our well, I guess it would be our niece gets older. Uh, I want to. We can potentially open up relations and alliance with Conwell by sending her to the institute to be trained when she's older. So we might. I think I might go that route. All right. Almost there. Sixty-three. They only have one ally, which is Elysin. So we're gonna take Neckcliff. We'll take Throatport, and then we'll probably. Uh, ooh, I don't know about this because they're just gonna start taking stuff if we're not careful. I'll probably take Percost as well. And then in ninety-one, we can integrate Metalair. So Metalair will be a PU under us for quite a while, actually. Assuming they even entered the war, which they might not. 
Fertile wife, bubbling bathroom, careful. Yeah, keep remembering the traits so I can RP this correctly. There we go. Breaking truce. What do you mean, breaking truce? Is it bugged? Or am I tripping? No, we have one until 67. Oh, fuck. That's unfortunate. Alright, we won't be able to get fight Netcliff this session, then we'll have to wait till the next one, because we have a we have a treaty for like four years. Where is he at war with? War of succession? There's so much going on in the Empire that I just can't pay attention to. Alright, in that case we'll go for our first national idea set. I'm not going to choose them now. I'm going to wait in between sessions to do some research. I guess we could look at them. I think I'm probably going to go exploration. Like, we're going the naval route, so it would make sense for us to, to start to explore. Is that the only exploration one out there? Try to see if they added anything else for this as well. Does look like it, yeah. Alright. I will need to get uh, some heavy ships. We're going to have to see about a loan for that. Of three heavy ships. It'll be very expensive, but worth it in the long term. Our economy is not amazing, but it's not that bad either. We'll need to do some development too at some point. I just wanted us to catch up with all the techs first, which we mostly have. Kind of. We've well, had no contact with Istra lore, but they used to be a Silmunas as well. That was that was the family that our ancestors betrayed, so they're not going to like us really at all. Like, we'll really struggle. Great Ording might make a good ally. Magisterium would normally, but... I don't know. Majors do tend to, tend to keep themselves out of things. I suspect the Great Ording will not want to basically cooperate with us getting territory. Because I'm going to want... I'll, we will probably go for a lot of this. I don't want to rush it, but we'll want that long term. So... We'll see. See what I missed in the role player. Yep, there was an assassination of the Emperor. I'm gonna write something out about that after. Ah, so Alien Terror has been formally discovered. The the elves in Vanel have discovered uh Alien Terror. Which is the old elven lands in the west. So it has been formally discovered. Oh, what's going on? Let's see if we can recruit an explorer. Find a good name. Valerian Adashi. That's a good one. We'll go for him. Ooh, four maneuver. That is wonderful. He's 17 years old. We've got a 17-year-old explorer who we're going to give three of our most expensive ships to. What can possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. I haven't been trading my troops, have I? No, it's not.
He will have a lot of time to get good at his job. Uh, yes, he will. What is going on here? We shouldn't be stopping this early. Oh, did they set it 15 minutes early? When did that get decided? What do we read? No, no, they never said that it would end at the time. Oh, it's because Dustin's leaving. Yeah, we're still good. Alrighty. We have the cottage industry developing. Economic development is not always without conflict. It seems rich merchants and some of our merchant guild dominated cities have been attempting to bypass various guild privileges by outsourcing work to the homes of families living in the city, outside the city. The fact that the putting out system has been a very profitable strategy only for inflames the anger of the artisans of the city. I feel their ancient rights have been trampled and that the careful managed prices of their products will suffer. The West Demirian artisans now turn to the Marquis to defend their privilege as the city council has been unable to root out competition in the city. We're going to side with the Merchant Guilds. And we have apparently Ghouls and Docks Bridge, so we need to find some adventurers to deal with it. That's like a whole mechanic in this mod. It's really cool. Still running a surplus so we can pay off those loans. Our big ships will be done in 65. And then we will send them west. There is a Stars game right after this. However, I will not be streaming it. Uh, when I've been playing the Stars games, I've also been working on some YouTube stuff, which I want to keep doing. One last time. It's the last time I'll say it today before I probably end stream. Uh, I will be streaming consistently again. It will be when Vicky 3 drops, which is the 25th. So for like another two weeks, you will all probably only see me streaming twice a week. I'll be streaming D&Ds on Fridays, and then I'll stream Amber on Sundays, and that's probably going to be it. Um, and then when Vicky 3 drops, I'll probably stream like five or six days a week. So. I also haven't really had the time lately. I've been pretty busy with other stuff. It's not like a year ago at this time. A year ago at this time, I think I was streaming like six days a week. It was a lot. Fuck. Okay. Let's find someone to talk to. Well, it's 12 minutes left. We kind of just got to wait, to be honest, until the end. We don't have enough time for full-on good diplomacy, which we need to do with someone, someone. So. In terms of when we come back, potential allies, it might be Varen. It might be uh, Conwell. We could work with the Magisterium. We could try and work with Vanel, but good luck trying to get the elves to work with even half-elves. Oh man, he is really going for that. He's got his god tier explorer as well. What did he go? He hasn't picked yet. Interesting. Yeah, exploration. Defensive. Nimscod hasn't gotten any. Pearl's Edge has gone exploration. We are going to have competition with Pearl's Edge in the New World then. That's interesting. He really went for that quick. We're a little behind on the exploration stuff, but we'll see how it goes. We'll start next session with the War for Netcliff, exploring the New World, and then we're going to probably participate in this giant civil war that's brewing. So, next session is going to be also pretty wild. That's one thing I've noticed with you four games, is there's, it's just always, there's so much going on. Even by strategy game standards.
Ashinveri and Ashinyande are both disputed. I will make Necliff into a state, because we are going to state the whole thing after we take it. Might as well do it now. And we need to give it another seat in Parliament. West Dam's represented. I'm going to put the second seat on our Western Holdings, so they are properly represented. Can I not? No, because it's not stated. I would like to turn a uh, throat port into a represented area, but I guess we can't do that. We'll just hold off on it long enough. It'll automatically be assigned. Fuck. Okay, we gotta choose somewhere. We'll do the dame's teeth then. No. We'll do stone view. We'll give them representation in the parliament. We need our prestige for something, so we'll have to keep on to that. Actually, hold on. We need to pay off our loans. How's our economy looking right? We're only making 15. We really don't make a lot. We don't get a lot of the Dame's Head trade, of course, because we're just not a big competitive trade power like BPEC or something. My neighbors are being weird. Alrighty. Between next session and this one i need to think about who our other allies should be and then i think about who our arrival should be because it would be nice to have one it was probably curious gnomes are intelligent yes but it is said that the gnomish hierarchy of antiquity secured their power not through rumination and debate but guile and intrigue rather than brute force our spies have recently discovered that prominent gnomes in our nation have been secretly spreading rumors about our government and supporting dissident groups to sow chaos while we would crack down these troublemakers, it would only seemingly confirm the rumors, as well as ing earning us the anger of this influential minority. We'll ignore it. He's careful. He'd just stay out of it. Interesting. Ooh, part of wine cost has gone to Rolsard as well. It is so crowded over here. Which is what we wanted with this game, but... All right, we've got six minutes left. I need to go set up for the Stellaris game and some other stuff, so I'm going to end the stream here. Um, well, let me see. I guess we could go raid someone who's doing EU4. Let me go look. Anyone know any of the EU4 streamers who are currently streaming? Let me look. Plenty of Hawaii people streaming as usual, but I want to raid an EU4 streamer optimally. Europa... Sally's for Oh, Alta Funk. He's playing uh, U4. We'll go raid him. I like him. I used to watch his streams a lot. I don't anymore mainly because I just don't watch any streamers because I'm always so busy. But we'll go raid him. He's a cool guy. He's very entertaining. All right. Um.
I will be back streaming on Friday with some D&D. I will be back streaming with more of this Ambinar roleplay every Sunday from here on out. Starts at 10 a.m. EST. Uh, I will not be consistently streaming, as I said, like I normally do until Victoria 3 drops. I have an ungodly amount of YouTube videos I've been working on. There, there'll be a giant drop later this week, and then there will be a huge drop when Victoria 3 comes out. Uh, main thing I've been working on is a uh, Vanilla Hoi 4 tutorial series and then a Victoria 3 tutorial series. So if you're interested in learning Base Hoi 4 or if you want to learn Vicky 3 when it comes out, I will have tutorials out on my YouTube channel. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you later. If it works. It works good. I think. Kind of. Why is my OBS not working? There we go. My God.